Ever have that one friend who loves something you know nothing about? Something you wish they could explain better? Well, this isn't that show. Welcome to Drunk Fandom, the show where we have a drunk person explain something they love to a sober friend who is clueless. fandom contains swears and other not safe for work content. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. The Fierce Ferrets do not condone excessive drinking, but if you do, please drink responsibly. Enjoy the show! Alright, so it's been a culmination of like two years of work to get to this point. Hi everybody. Um, this is the first episode of a project that I was inspired to do, like I said, two years ago. Uh, we're calling it Drunk Fandom. I can't believe it's been that I know, I know. This it is really, episode one. This is episode one, and it feels good. I'm actually yeah. listening to the Fallout 4 official main theme by Ainan Zur, because I'm stoked. <laughs> it's getting ramped. Okay, so um, for those of you who can't see, I have seven shot glasses in front of me. Yes. They are Fallout-themed shot glasses, each for one stat. We have strength, perception, endurance, um, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. And what I'm going to do now... So I'm going to take the leap, and I'm going to drink all these shots in a row. Uh, they have been watered down yeah, a little bit with some cola. Disclaimer, he is not drinking seven shots. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm drinking basically like three and a half three to four half. shots. And if I'm not drunk enough in 20 minutes, then we'll know. All right, so let me, while I have some semblance of soberness okay. to me, let me explain the premise of the show here. Uh, this episode, we're going to be talking about Fallout. Um... Everything but four, I'm going to just briefly touch up in four, because I know some people still haven't played it and want to. I haven't finished it. But the other ones, uh, this is a spoiler podcast, so you will have that here. There are spoils in every episode of this podcast, which we so will be, be forewarned. Um, <laughs> Bat Clan, why don't you tell us what you know about Fallout? Okay. My experience with Fallout is I have played... I've played a lot of three, actually. I, I did play a lot of three, back in high school. <laughs> so you don't remember much about I, Fallout. I remember it's 1950s post-apocalyptic and you're getting water. You know what that, that term is called? <laughs> is, uh, when it's, retro when it's something? Retrofuturism. Retrofuturism. Because all the style is 1950s, but it's super advanced. Okay. So we're just kind of waiting for the alcohol to hit. Even then, you know what I did in Fallout? You know what I, in Fallout, like, all I did was the main quests. I remember some kids were like, Do you, hey, do you, you wanna... remember who your dad was? Uh, uh, the guy in Taken. <laughs> Which would be... Uh, you know I don't know actor names. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint, right? Are you okay. ready for this? Yeah. Liam? It's not O'Brien. It's not O'Brien. <laughs> I don't know! You're Neeson! Okay. Neeson! So. Did you just... I don't know. <laughs> I'm the one drinking. So, um... Fallout has a lot of history to it, right? Yeah. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Fallout while I'm cognitive. Don't. You're no, no, not about out. the lore of it. Just Don't um, talk about it at all. You will wait until you start feeling drunk. That is the point of this podcast. I don't care. Why don't you talk about your shirt? So oh, yes. It's St. Patty's Day. I'm wearing green for anyone who isn't watching the video. Um, I'm wearing my puppy's shirt. That doesn't mean I have a racking of uh, racking tits. <laughs> um, you, you didn't say sweater puppies, so I, think I yeah I yeah. That. It's not my sweater puppies. Uh, no, it's a perk shirt from Fallout. It's the Bethesda store. Yeah. Uh, Backlam got it for me one yeah. year. You good? <laughs> um, is it hitting you? I think so. Okay. Well, you want to get to it then? Or we like? Do you feel like you are buzzed enough to really? Really? Let's let's <laughs> let's see how I feel in like ten minutes if I'm still not like I'll start talking a little bit because I'm I'm loose. Don't say you're loose. Shut up. <laughs> Am I loose? Don't say you're what loose. What does that mean? Okay. Not what you're thinking it means. <laughs> okay. Um. So I'm trying 
to think. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. so we're talking about Fallout, right? That's yeah. the whole point of this Close podcast. Close the internet. <laughs> I'm just changing my music. Do I take up. your computer away? No, I'm not. I'm not doing what you think I'm doing. So, Fallout is a setting that is dear to me. I fell in love when I first played Fallout 3. I remember there was a specific moment. I'm going to get into the lore in just a second. Mm -hmm. And this is... This is one of the biggest things about video games and books, movies, whatever. There's always that moment with one of your favorite franchises that sticks with you. And that moment is in 2007 when Fallout... Did it come out in 2007? I'm not going to remember the specific date. But when Fallout 3 came out, mm. I had gotten it. Uh, I actually bought it um, off of someone who wanted to like trade it into GameStop. And I played it. I, I didn't know anything about it. I never played a Bethesda game at that point, if you can believe that. I never really? played, yeah, never played any of the I'm Elder Scrolls or anything I... like that. No, it's a big deal because a lot of, everybody's played them, or yeah. most people have. And I remember playing it, and there's that moment where you just you leave the vault, and your eyes adjust to the world outside. You've been living underground your whole life and everything like that, and. <clears throat> Even, like, now, now it still makes me just amazed, even with the shitty graphics comparatively, because, like, we got that same kind of vibe in Fallout 4. But in Fallout 3, when I left the vault for the first time, and I looked at the wasteland, and I looked at the sandbox area that I was, that I could explore anything, that I could do what I wanted, yeah. I fell in love. And that's why Fallout, no matter what happens, it's still one of my favorite franchises, because... I, I'm I'm a little bit annoyed with Fallout 4 because they didn't let you be as evil as you could be in Fallout 3, and I'll go into that in a, in a little while. But you could in Fallout you could be a dick. You don't like. Here's the thing. I I'm so excited to play four. Like we actually, <laughs> I bought it way back, but uh, that was that was when I was. Uh, when did Fallout 4 come out? I had just graduated college and I was job hunting and and working my butt off. Overtime kicked in. I have. I, and now I have Fallout 4 in VR, which I really want to play. Right? But I want to hear good things about Fallout 4. <laughs> all right, all right. So, all right, but you said you're not getting into that, right? Now, now I'm the... feeling a little buzzed. So let me let me tell you about this, because I'm going to... We're not going to get into politics or anything, but if you're scared about the current climate of the world, Fallout may not be the game for you. Um, let's just break it down. It's fucked <gasps> up. Oh. All right, so Pat, let me, let me break it down. So oh, no, there is this thing called... The Great War of 2077, right? I remember that year because 20 and then 77. That's um, actually yeah, really that, important. It's, it's that sounds like two numbers yeah. that they like kind of married to each other. <laughs> um, okay, so the Great War, like, um, like any Great War was pretty big. Oh, okay. Um, but it kind of oh. like was really short. It was only like several hours. Um, basically everybody was just like, hey, nukes, nukes, yeah, let's do it. Let's just fucking, let's just okay. scorched earth. Let's do it, man. I, I see China over there launch their nukes, but didn't America launch their nukes first? No, man, that was, that was Britain. We don't even have nukes. What are you talking about? I'm, is that your British accent? Is, is that not British? No, that's definitely not British. Oh, shit. I need to work on my British accent. How come British people can always do American accents, but I can't do British I to know, save you, my life? Have you listened to a British person? Because it doesn't sound like you have. You're right. So the Great War. Okay, so the Great War. Um, <laughs> basically, it's what led to everything happening in Fallout. Like, all everybody who had nuclear armaments um, launched at the same time, and it was just like, pew! Wait, so... So they, everywhere they launched at the same time. I mean, give or take a couple of minutes. You're no, really but like, what? is it because who shot first? No one knows, except Gideon, who actually played the games. And actually, I I have theories and 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 back. Wait, up. do you know where you have theories? Those are two different. A little things. both. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So what predates? Why would everybody blow each other up, right? With nukes. That sounds awful. Well, there's a reason. It's called the resource wars. Okay. It happened before <laughs> the Great War. So what happened is, uh, in Fallout, they never created um, the technology for transistors. Now, this is really interesting. Transistors are in computers. They're the little itty-bitty, like, like, little pillars and shit you see on a motherboard or anything. They look like little, little, little like, circles and shit. 
So what happened was, um, like in, I think it was in the 1960s. You you can Google it, but transistors mm-hmm. became a thing, um, and that's why we have the ability to make smaller and smaller technology that's more advanced, like smartphones and shit. All that comes from transistor technology. So in the Fallout universe, that's where the timeline diverges. So everything up until like the the creation of transistors, basically the same thing, minus maybe one or two things. Um, that, that are touched up on in DLC, right? Mm. So, in Fallout, um, in the, during the resource wars, the world started running out of natural resources, like oil and stuff like that, so the price of oil and gas went up to, like, $5,000 per gallon. Oh my god. Yeah. You, you see a thing (laughs) in Fallout 2 with, like, gas, premium, 6,000, regular, 5,000, yeah. So when you bitch about, like, $3 in the Bush era, you're kind of like, well. Okay, so, resource war. Um, everybody was fighting over oil and stupid shit. Well, I guess oil's not stupid, but everybody was being pretty stupid. And at one point, America actually annexed Canada, so it got, it got real. Yeah. <laughs> really? The, they go in there with power armor and shit, and they're just like, hey, Canadians! Guess who's in charge now? And they're like, could you not? Could you not? And America's like, ha, 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 pulls guns. Because we didn't have a vast amount of guns, I guess, as Americans. But we did. Um, so I'm sorry. So this this Great War, right? Yeah, yeah. It so, was only a couple of hours. Yeah, I, because I everybody nukes... just simultaneously launched nukes right. everywhere. Right. And I guess... With their level of technology, they probably, I guess, didn't have well, great missile defenses. No, they did. Just they also had great anti-missile... De- they had great anti-missile defenses, and then they had great missiles that also just did what they wanted. Like, okay, but that actually is a valid point, because some areas weren't actually hit, like New Vegas, which was really? Old Vegas. Wait, that's one of the games, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so in Old Vegas, okay. right? I'll, I'll talk about it when we get to the New Vegas part in depth, but... Whoa! Okay, there it is. Oh, it's- <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay. <laughs> so one guy was like, yo, everybody's gonna nuke each other eventually. I'm seeing shit go down. And then everybody's like, Mr. House, a.k.a. Walt Disney, what are you doing? Because you look just like Walt Disney. And so, like, you imagine Walt Disney would create, like, a, a Las Vegas-type scenario, yeah. which he does. Anyway, so Walt Disney, a.k.a. Mr. House, a.k.a. not Walt Disney, um... Was like, yo, nukes are eventually gonna... So he secretly, in his Las Vegas theme park area, put anti-missile things and was just like... Pew, 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 pew. So that's why the Mojave Desert isn't really, like, changed that much. Like, it wasn't hit by a lot of areas with radiation and stuff, because most of the nukes got shot down. So we'll, we'll go into that when we talk about New Vegas. New Vegas is, like, one of the best games ever. I know. You I'll didn't. Take your word on yeah, it. yeah. Okay, so resource wars, everybody was fighting over oil, and then eventually someone just was kind of like, let's fucking nuke everybody. And everybody else was like, who the fuck said that? Oh shit, they're gonna they're gonna nuke me. I, I gotta nuke them in back. I gotta yeah. nuke them no, back. No, you covered the nuking. I think we're good there. Okay, so. What happened after? What happens after is prior. <laughs> we're going back prior. I'm going back prior. Are you ready for the priorness I, of this? Yeah, I okay, guess so I'm ready. Okay, so right immediately prior to this, during the resource wars, a lot of people got super paranoid. And they were like, oh my god, we're gonna die! And there was this company called Voltec that came up to everybody and be like, or are you? And everybody was like, what? What does that mean? What does that mean, are we? Do you have a way to prevent death? And the Voltec is like, this is your Voltec representative. Yes, we do. For a nominal fee, you could be part of a vault tech vault. What's a vault, you ask? A vault is basically an underground bunker where you will live out the rest of your days in peaceful bliss while everybody above you dies in atomic fire. Like, that was, like, legit their pitch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they came in in, like, trench coats and, and, and stuff. And they, like, yellow trench coats and yellow is tacky. And I love Sinestro when I'm saying it. Yellow this. is pretty tacky. It's, it's super tacky. <laughs> anyway, so um, vault Tech created a bunch of vaults to, like, shelter the people. But it turns out that vaults weren't for that. Um, 
we votes were actually a social it. experiment to basically test like the conditions of how like people would survive in certain scenarios. Like there was there were votes that were control votes that were like, uh-huh. how would people just survive in isolation like this? There were people who were like, how would they survive if there were nine hundred and nine? Because each vote can house a thousand people, right? Wait, how many votes were there? There were over a hundred. Just over a hundred, like a hundred and ten. Yeah. Wait, how populated was the world in twenty seventy seven? Uh, they they kept advertising like there were a ton of fucking vaults and there would be enough space, but there weren't. And the problem oh is, God. not everybody went to the vaults either because there were so many frequent like the world is ending drills, the world is ending, and everybody eventually got sick of it and were like, yeah, yeah, world's ending, whatever. I'm I'm gonna come over here and just like. Oh, so you mean like fire drills? Yeah, they were like fire drills. And everybody just fucking didn't listen after a point because they got sick of it. And a whole bunch of people died from it. Like, one vote, like, I can't remember the numbers because there's a fucking hundred of them, guys, and I'm drunk. Okay? Are you? I'm getting there. You you were, I, I'm very impressed, actually. I'm so fat, it's helping the, the, the lack <laughs> of it. So, where was I? Oh, yeah, vaults. So, um, vaults were, like, Holes in the ground, but nicer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, super nice. Like, we're talking, like, right. if you're going to be in a hole in the ground, this is the... Wor- it's not, like, a hobbit hole, but it's it's pretty high-tech. But they were all social experiments. And they, and I, I want to explain why. There was an organization mm-hmm. that basically was like, fuck Earth. Let's do these vault things as a social experiment and see if... Like, we could survive in space by doing really fucked up things to other people. Just to, like, see if humans can take it emotionally. So there's, like, one vault. I'm going to talk about a little bit about the vault. Mm-hmm. There was one vault that had 99, 999 women and one dude. And there was one vault that had 999 men and one woman. Woman. Where woman's? Joy. Oh yeah, no, that's that's that there was one vault mm-hmm. where it was a dude mm-hmm. and a crate of hand puppets. <laughs> you're you're pulling my leg. No. Um uh, no, okay, so funny lore about this. Okay. Penny Arcade did a comic about it and Bethesda liked it so much they made it canon. Wow. Yeah. There was one vault where the door wasn't supposed to close properly, and so everybody was irradiated. And they became ghouls. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I'll, I'll go so into what ghouls die. are. That's cool. They didn't die. Well, a lot of them did die, but a lot of them just mutated into, like, zombie-looking creatures, but they're fully aware and everything. They're just kind of... Oh, yeah. I think I remembered them. Yeah, ghouls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there, are, there are different species in Fallout, and we'll talk about that. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's than, there's ghouls. Like there's ghouls. super mutants. There's uh, death claws. Not every species is sentient, but animals mutated. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. So you say species, we don't mean sentient species. Ghouls and super mutants are the only other sentient ones. So oh, and I guess we can kind of count robots, because you and I are progressive. Okay. Like, robots are people, right? Yeah! Yeah. Don't you get a robot butler in the fourth one? And the third one. Do you in the third one? Yeah. I really... I... His name is... His name is Wadsworth after the Clue Butler. Yes! No, is it yeah, Wadsworth? I... Yeah. I don't know. Well, Wadsworth is from Clue. Yeah, I know, but he, that was the joke. Right. He would tell you puns and give you That's water. That's what I'm saying. In Clue, it's Wadsworth. But... Yeah. No, no. I'm pretty sure it's it's Wadsworth and that. You do. Okay. And in 4, it's Codsworth, which to this day, I get mad that it's not Cogsworth. Oh, it's... Like Cogs. It's Cogs? Like in a machine. No, C-O-D, like the fish. That's awful. Why would it be... Co- He's I like, don't he- fucking know, and it angers me. Okay, okay. Right. So, I think you've talked a lot about the history. Okay, the yeah, so we're, well, now we're getting up to it. So, what like... What is the first game about? The first game takes place in Vault 13, I think? Yeah, Vault 13. Is it Vault 13? You know what? It's Vault 1, and then random number that's probably 3. Okay, so you, you could just have it, like, interchange, and I, I don't even care. Anyway, 
So your overseer, the basically the overseer of a vault was uh-huh. the guy who was in charge, the head honcho. Okay. This vault was designed to test the stress of may, uh, like certain equipment breaking more frequently. Okay. Right? And your water chip purification unit broke. All right? And what that, that meant... That good. Yeah. Basically, that meant all the water in the vault mm-hmm. had a finite amount of purification. So there was no bottled water. There was no, you know, Nestle's wait, buying up everything. Wait, you said each vault had, like, a special thing about it. Did this one have one? Yeah. It's water chip shit would break all the time. It was designed not to weigh, uh, to to work properly. And so they would have to see how they could adapt by jury rigging oh, and stuff cool. like that. Yeah. <laughs> and if the water purification unit in a vault doesn't work, guess what everybody drinks? Irradiated <laughs> fucking water. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, how, so... How many times did it break before this? This was the first time. It broke after like a hundred oh. years. That right? doesn't sound like a lot for radiation. No, no. <laughs> and uh, radiation, they they talk about like after like 450 years, like the radiation level should be safe again. Well, th- yeah, because I was thinking about, uh, oh, man, anyway, what's it, it called? The real life radiated. Half-life. Place. No, no. The, there's a real place where. Um, Chernobyl. Yeah. Yeah. Something in Chernobyl. That, that's what I'm thinking of when you say 100 years, and I'm like, that doesn't sound like a lot, because Chernobyl is going on, like, how many years now? But I'm, go- I'm going off track, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, okay, so your overseer drags you to the, the corner, because you drew the short stick, right? Yeah. And, um, he goes to you, he's like, hey, um, so, bad news, we're all gonna die of thirst. Now, we can ration the water, but... You're kind of a cool guy. Or girl, however you self-identify. Could you play as a girl in the first Yeah, time? you can play as a girl. That's a- Yeah, no, right? So right? Okay, so... What happens is they're like, here, here's some knives, here's some bullets, but we're not... We're gonna give you a... a like did fish- they give you a gun? I think they g- did give you a gun. Oh, okay. It depends on the skills that you take, depending on what items you get. Mm-hmm. Like, if you took, like, a, a small arms, uh-huh. right, they'd give you a gun. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is cool. So, like, if you chose medicine, they'd give you med med kits. Anyway, so they're like, okay, listen, we're all going to die. You need to find out another source of water. You need to get a replacement chip for this vault, or else we're going to all fucking die. And you're looking at the overseer, we're like, that's really fucking bad. I don't want to die. And the overseer grabs you by the shoulders. He's like, neither do we, fuck boy. Go out there and get some water. Or fuck wait, girl, what? however you self-identify. Wait, why are you picked? Is there a... You you literally drew the short straw. Let me see. They they drew straws and you were the one who drew the short one. So Makoto, you drew the back clamp. So you're Makoto from, from Dang and Rumpa. You're the ultimate lucky. You're the ultimate unlucky la- slash lucky. Okay. No, okay, luck is, I'm not going to get into it, but you're just the lucky. Luck can be good or bad. You're right, it can be. Yes, yeah, so you're, just, you're just the ultimate lucky. Actually, that's a part of a perk that luck can be good or bad. Really? Yes. So, okay, a little tidbit about Fallout. Yeah. If you ever played Dungeons and Dragons, Fallout is actually based on a system called GURPS. Now, I know GURPS sounds like burps, yes. or like GURPS, yeah. but it basically stands for, like, General Universal Role Playing System, something like that. I know, General and Universal, they're basically the same thing. Who cares? But basically, Fallout, the original two Fallouts... Yeah. Were basically like Dungeons and Dragons. They okay. were, they were, they were GURPS. They were GURPS in it up. So anyway, you get out of your vault, and you're like, "Oh shit, there's a bunch of rats in here, and they're big ass rats." And these are the first kind of enemies you face. You know how, like, if you play Dungeons and Dragons, you're like, "Ooh, goblins or bullets?" No, and Fallout, it's rats, which is weird, because <laughs> okay. you you take a knife and you're in the cave and you're like. Okay, you're going, you're going really <laughs> off track. Okay, yeah, I am. Because the alcohol is now hitting me. That's good, though. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> it just so, took forever. So back to Fallout 1. Uh, okay. Fallout 1 was an amazing game that I played after Fallout 3. Okay. Okay, so you play as a character known as the Vault Dweller, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're dwelling in that vault, and they're trying to get you to find a, a, a chip to make the water pure. Okay. Because your water... You know, like, how we have a Brita filter? I understand what water purification means, yes. Do you? Because I don't think Nestle does. Because recent studies show that their water is full of okay, shit! Anyway. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'll snap. Okay. 
So anyway, so you go off on a quest into the wasteland, and you're in California, the California area. Uh-huh. What remains of the California area. Uh-huh. And you're like... So the first game's in California. Yeah, yeah. And you just kind of like explore shit, and you stumble across this, uh, across this town called Shady Sands. Okay. And Shady Sands has the best mayor. You know why? Because he's voiced by Tony fucking Shalhoub! Are you serious? Monk! <laughs> Oh my god. And you know what's even crazier? This is like the only thing he's ever voiced in. Really? Like Yeah. Well, so full out special because it has Monk. Aw. Anyway, so you're like, hey, is there like a water f- purification chip in there? And they're like, what the fuck is that? We've been surviving in the wasteland for like 60 years. And they're And you're like, oh, it's like a chip for a vault. And they're like, why do you need that? And you're like, Remembering in the back of your head, don't talk about the vault. Don't talk about the vault. Don't talk about the vault. You don't want to let people know about the vault. And he goes, because I'm from a vault. And everybody's like, shit, really? And you're like, oh shit, I shouldn't talk about that. Uh, Do they know what a vault is? Yeah, people knew what a vault was because the remnants of Shady Sands were actually from Vault 13. uh, Not 13. You're from Vault 13. Vault 13. Is that your favorite vault? Um, I like the number 13. It's a sexy number. Oh, okay. Like, it's all curvy and shit. Like, it's uh, like a the... three dancing around a stripper pole. Um, okay, so, <laughs> so, b- they're from Vault 15. I, I don't remember what Vault 15's deal was. But anyway, they eventually got out, and they were like, let's make a community out on the wasteland. And you know why that was a bad idea? Why? Because raiders were like, let me fuck your shit up. And you're like, could you not? And they're like... No, we're gonna fuck your shit up. So anyway, they're they're all pissy about you, mm-hmm. and you as the vault dweller meet a caravan guy mm-hmm. named Ian, and Ian is like your Ian's your biffle. Ian, Ian is actually biffle? canon. Oh okay. Okay, so Ian is canon because Ian is is your biffle. Okay. Okay. So oh, I, everything's. Canon you, you could get a you could get one companion each. Yeah. Um, oh, anyway. wait, so are some companions not canon? Yeah, Ian was actually wow. mentioned in something called the Fallout Bible. Oh. The Fallout Bible is canon. So you eventually go to Shady Sands, and they're like, you know, you, there's a vault over nearby here, and Tony Shalhoub, his monk, is like, be like, my daughter's been kidnapped by raiders, and you're like, that fucking sucks. And we're gonna go from my perspective here of Fallout, because you could be a bad guy, or you could be a good guy. I was a good guy. I was the savior of the wasteland. Well, that's, I feel like that's canon, right? Because otherwise... Well, yeah, in the first one, it is canon. The like, Fallout so Bible. So talk about the canon. Okay, so so you, you hang out with Ian, because he's, like he's like a guard for caravans, and he's like, hey, do you have caps? And you're like, no, what's that? And he's like, caps, you know, bottle caps. And you're like, like this? And he's like, yeah. He's like, why do I need that? He's like, that's money. And then you looked at all the bottle caps and you're like, this is money? What yeah. kind of shitty fucking money is this? Yeah, okay. So I remember caps being money. Why is it money, though? Like, I don't remember learning... Because paper money burned and was worthless. Money is assigned to, like, what's valuable and what's rare. And caps were rare enough where they could be valuable, okay. but also common enough where they could they could flood the market okay. and be utilized. So, like, you'd have, like, a satchel full of caps and you'd be like... Hey, I drank a bunch of Nuka Colas. I'm rich, Can bitch. You imagine getting money every time you drink soda. No joke. There's a quest about it in New Vegas. <laughs> yeah. How okay. cool is that? That's pretty cool. Anyway. All right. Um. So you you tag along with Ian. I I grouped with Ian because I was like an extra body, and then I realized Ian has a submachine gun, and that motherfucker would not. Realize not to shoot you with that fucking gun. There was friendly fire? There was friendly fire, and if they crit, you were just like, dead. Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm just getting this bottle cap that fell on the floor. Right, it might be talk- worth something in 200 years. <laughs> why don't we talk less about... Don't we, have a, a, we have a box full of that. Yeah, for, yeah. For, no, no, we threw that out. Did we? I yeah, yeah, the yeah, it was the cosplay. Anyway, so, anyway, um, okay. um you, talk- you, you did a bunch of stuff around the wasteland in Fallout 1. Like, I rescued... Yeah. I rescued Tony Shalhoub's daughter. Well, that's what I was going to say. Why don't we talk about less about the gameplay and more about any of the actual important story? Like the yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm getting into. I rescued yeah. his daughter and everybody was like, 
you're great. And the reason I'm talking about this is Shady Sands plays a really important part in two. Shady Sands? Shady Sands was the name of Tony Shalhoub's settlement. Okay. They came from Vault 15. So you go to Vault 15 eventually after doing all these side quests and shit, and you try and look for a, 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 a shit there. A chip there. And you didn't. You didn't find it. So then you head to a town called Junktown, right? Uh-huh. And Junktown is like, it's a bunch of junk and shit. Okay. Like cars and shit like I that. I would have imagined Junktown. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, I helped out a guy named Killian Darkwater, who was like the sheriff. And then there was a guy named Gizmo, who was, who, Gizmo, Mose Giz, Gizmo, I don't know. And he kind of like, was a big piece of marshmallow fluff. And he was like, hey, can you kill Killian Darkwater? Wait, and Killian wait. was like, I'm the sheriff and I just want to bring law to this. This Yesmo this... was a human, right? Yeah. But you're calling him Marshmallow Fluff and all I'm thinking of is that Gremlins movie. You can work with Killian or Gizmo to like do the other. Is not, Kill- not do okay, like wait. sex, but like kill. Wait, is Killian the guy who has you kill things? No, he's the sheriff. His so name is Killian guy. Darkwater. <laughs> And he's pretty sexy, too. That's the best part. And he's the good guy. He's the good That's guy. That's hilarious. Yeah, Gizmo runs, like, a casino, and he wants Killian dead because he's, like, cramping my business. Uh-huh. And you're, like, cramping your business. Isn't uh-huh. this the 1950s retrofuturism? And he's, like, nah, dude. It's 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 the wasteland. <laughs> so you get, to, you get to do shit there, and you meet dog meat there. So every Fallout game has a dog named Dog Meat, and they're not all the same yeah, dog. Yeah, I think I remember having a dog. Yeah, yeah. Every, not the same it, dog it's now. it's 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 symbolic of Mad Max's relationship with the dog in two Road Warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you, you, they're a wild dog, and you're just like, "Hey, Dog Meat," and the dog is like, "Woof," and you're like, "You wanna you wanna like pal around with me and, and fight evil?" And the dog is like, "Bork." Yeah, no, that's like um, literal. Right. All right. So after after Junk Town, we go to the hub, and this is crucial. This is another thing about it, right? Like everything I'm talking about well, is crucial. These are the important events of, of one, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I, one I is one is canon. Well, no, it's, I know it's an open world, so I'm trying to make sure you're. There, there's on an top open world with like 13 stages. Like, let's well, be real. It's not like say, it's like yes. not like three. Well, all right. Okay. So then you go to the hub, uh-huh. and you you like canonically. You're like, oh my god, my people are going to die without water. And you meet some water traders. And you're Uh like, alright, I'll make the tough call. Go send it over to this mountain. There's a vault up there. And they need water. Or else they're all going to die. And they're like, you got the caps? And you hand them over the caps. And you're like, enjoy your cap money, you sick fucks. Wait, what? Wait, you went from... We're going to bring them water to their sick fucks. I'm really no, gonna... no. You, you go to the traders and you give them money to oh, get the so water. Oh, so you get water from Yeah, a you're just salty dicks. about it. Oh, okay. Anywho, so after that, th- th- and there's a reason. Just remember this. Put a pin in it. Are you putting about a pin in About the dick traders? About the dick traders with their water. Yeah. Okay. okay. So after that, you end up finding out about another vault that you found out about at Vault thir- 15 from Shady Sands. You looked in their computer and they were like, here's a vault called vault 12 right and vault 12 is nicknamed the necropolis because you remember that that doesn't sound good because you remember (laughs) that the the... ghoul vault you mentioned yeah it's the fucking ghoul vault it's the vault with the door that didn't close people knew it was a ghoul vault no no they didn't know until they went in they were like hey steve the door won't close and then steve is like i am literally the overseer for five minutes are you telling me the door won't close what the shit is this? Oh my god, Michael. No, Michael! No. Michael! Michael! Michael, close that door. Steve, I can't close that door. Michael! Michael! Wait, wait, okay, wait. I'm confused. Who called it the Necropolis then? It's slang Necropolis because everybody no. who go to the area called it the Necropolis. Who is everybody? Everybody in, like, Junk Town, The Hub. So people knew about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But said, they didn't no. want to go near it because it was full of ghouls and everybody thinks ghouls are zombies. But ghouls oh, are not. So they didn't zombies. know they were. They were like okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They didn't. They they just saw the people with like flesh drooping down and looking zombified. Yeah, I guess that's pretty. Yeah, yeah. Guy. So you go there, right. and you're like, y'all ugly, and they're like, that's mean, and that's really hurtful, and you're like, I'm sorry, my bad. I'm from a vault, and they're like, you're from a vault. Did your vault fucking work? Because I've been alive for two hundred years. Because ghouls can live that long. Fun fact of radiation. Wait, Whatever. 
Wait, yeah, wait, ghouls wait. can live for like 400 no, years. shut up. You said it's only been 100 years since the chip broke. Or, I'm confused. Yeah, you're right. I did say that, and I'm drunk, so shut up. I'm making sure. <laughs> uh, they're like, I'm 100 years old. How about that? Okay, so where was I? The necropolis. So you go there, and they're like, hey, our water, like, thing is is really good, but we're ghouls, and we don't need clean water. Like, radiation doesn't affect us. But, like, if you're a hero, and you kind of, like, put your hand over the left side of your mouth really casually, and you're like, I am a hero if you're playing the hero route of this game, which you should, because heroes are awesome. Okay, but you do that, and they're like, there are super mutants out there, and you look at them, like, you're like, what the fuck's a super mutant? And they they kind of look at you, and they just, like, pull out a chart out of nowhere and mm-hmm. with a ghoul on it. But it's a stick figure ghoul, so it's just kind of poorly drawn. And, like, this is a mutant. We ghouls are mutants. Then he pulls out another but one. Stick figure. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He pulls out another one with, like, a bigger, brawnier stick figure. Okay. And he's like, this is a super mutant. And you're like... That doesn't answer any of my questions because your artistic skills leave a lot to be desired. This, this sounds very made up. <laughs> play the game and you'll know. I'm not this lying. Time, I guess I haven't played the game. You haven't played the game. Okay. Yeah. And then he dabbed at you. Oh, okay. Like 18, 20 years before dabbing right. became a thing. Now we know where dabbing came from. Yeah, now you know. It came from it's the ghouls answered. of Vault 13, a.k.a. the Necropolis and Fallout 1. Okay, you keep saying Vault 13. How many Vault Twelve. 13? It was Vault 12. <laughs> uh, you're from you Vault 13. You've never single Vault, Vault 13. I just think you should know that. Have I? Yeah. This is not good. I'm going to get to like Fallout 3 and I'm like, Vault 1013. <laughs> Not, okay, so, not even 113, 1013. <laughs> which is like 1013, which there were only like 120 volts. So you just break in the cannon. Ah, oh, break in the cannon, just like Bethesda. Okay, so you're talking to the Necropolis. Ghouls. Okay, you're talking to them. And they're they're actually like ghouls are cool. You okay. know, they're people. Yeah. They're they're a minority, you know, they people people look at them like they're gonna eat my brains, and they're like do you have any Nuka Cola and maybe some crab puffs? I like crab puffs. And they're like, you want my brains? No. I I really just want some crab puffs. <laughs> Myrler puffs? I, I like Are they the made cake. for Wait, what's a Myrler? Or is a Myrler for crab? That's something that was created in Fallout 3. And I if I could get up and shake your head and like hold it still and tell you how much I hate those skittering fucks, I would. They are the I worst. Don't... They are literally I'm trying my so hard to remember playing Fallout. I remember... Hey, you remember was... how the crab people in South Park were a joke? Well, okay, I remember there were scorpions. Because I remember I had a scorpion, like... Oh, I... fuck, I forgot about the scorpions remember... being drunk. There I... were scorpions in this, and they were evil. Were they, they poisoned you. And if you got poisoned, guess who died? Spoiler I... alert, I remember... you did. I remember killing a scorpion, and you know, Bethesda games are glitchy, so I remember it started flying away from me. That's the only reason why I remember the scorpion. Okay, so my fun scorpion story is when yeah. I played Fallout 3 for the first time, yeah. and I had a BB gun, and I went to the Super Duper Mart, and I was like... It's called the Super Duper Mart? Yeah. Okay. And I went there, and there was a giant scorpion, and it chased me, and uh-huh. it killed me, uh-huh. and I got really salty. And then later on, when they did Game of the Year Edition... I already had the DLCs. Mm-hmm. I replayed Fallout 3, and I, I decided to go a different path, and you know what happened? What? I got a level 40 guy, or level 30 guy, to attack me in Hellfire armor, and I was like, how the fuck is this balance? Bethesda, you're shit. I don't know what that... I assume Hellfire armor is powerful. It's level 30. I was I level know, 2. I don't know this. I was level you're 2. Saying words to me I don't understand. Okay, when when something has something like called Hellfire... If I had Hellfire armor right now, what would I, you envision? You um, would envision like plate okay. armor or sci-fi armor that you, was literally you, on fire. Do you know the cool set in Animal Crossing? It has... It's black with painted flames on it, like those red painted flames you see on cars. That's what I, I imagine armor, but with that. Yeah, and then and then do that, and okay. then like sploosh it up, because that would make you wet with how I'm sexy not, this armor I'm was. I'm not gonna sploosh it. Okay. All right, so, so you're at the necropolis. Yes. 
And they're like, okay, we don't need the water chip, but you you got to do us a solid, brah. Wait, and you're so like, they found the wa- wait, wait, you skipped something. So they got the water chip? They have a water chip that's still functioning at the, their vault. The necropolis yeah. piece. Yeah. They won't give it to you. It didn't get irradiated? Um, do things get They're irradiated? ghouls. They no, don't no. care about Does radiation. Te- but doesn't technology get soaked in radiation? Like, now I'm actually... Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, you just discovered a That's plot hole to the entire... Like, wait, does it? <laughs> you just discovered an immense plot hole. All right, all right, all right. I don't know, I don't know if you can de-irradiate objects. I don't really know how radiation works, so You I know what, know. let's just say they did. Because you know how when we got black mold, we had to throw out, like, half our furniture. Let's just say they did. Okay. Let's just say they de-irradiated okay. it. Okay. It's like a little chip. Okay. Even if it's radiation, it goes into a specific part of the vault, you know, it's well, cool. Well, it's the water that doesn't solve... Okay, just keep going. Yeah. Well, no, it's a purification chip. So what if it just stayed pure the entire time? Like, you pick <laughs> up the chip, and it's itself. got, like, a halo around it, and angelic wings, uh-huh. and it's just like, I am pure, and flies up to the heaven, and you grab it, and you're like, not today, bitch. <laughs> not today. Okay, so the, the, the ghouls are going to give us the chip on one condition. That's what we're up to right now. There's a water pump up the stairs. They're willing to trade with the water if we get rid of the super mutants. So you go up there, and you and your boy Ian are like... Wait, how many floors are in a vault? No, no, you you, you were underground in the vault, but you go up to the city be- uh, above. There's a water pump up above. Oh, okay. So yeah, they want they're... the city above the vault. Yeah, yeah. They want to branch out and make their necropolis like a full-on necromatic dream place with a high real estate value. Okay. You know, you see, you yeah. just see ghouls sitting in a lawn chair being like, today is a nice day. So you're, you're taking out the super mutants. Yeah. And, uh, wow, when you first saw your super mutants, okay, imagine John Cena, but green and on voids. Can you just say the Hulk? Is it, or is it not like a Hulk? I mean, have you ever seen John Cena, green and on no, voids? No, I know he's like a meme. Now. Basically, it's the Hulk. Okay. They're like the fucking Hulk. Okay. And one of them has a Gatling gun, and sh- uh, no, no, one of them had a flamethrower and just killed Ian. <laughs> oh my god, wait, no! Yeah. I was laughing, but I just realized Ian was like, And aren't you a monster for laughing at that? Um, <laughs> like, I was like, oh, he just killed him. Like, oh, wait, no, that was so No, he lit him on fire. But funny story, in two, you find out Ian lived. Oh, that's so but nice. But in one, the vault dweller was like, you should have let me thought he was dead until you got to two, though, because you're explaining two. But you were—you right? look like you were gonna cry. She was crying, was laughing. Crying. She was, was like, <laughs> and I understand how that is an unsexy noise. Okay. Please so, so tell Ian, me your Ian, your quote unquote, your dies. eggs did not just like right back into the fallopian tubes right there. I I wouldn't blame you. What? Wait. Okay. So Ian dies, quote unquote. Yeah. And you you're just like flamethrower. Shotgun, 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 heavy breathing, shotgun, reload, looks at another one, shotgun, Wait, shotgun, what? shotgun. What if you don't have a, a shotgun? <laughs> I guess who's <laughs> not progressing in the but goddamn did you game. Get, did you get, were shotguns easy to get? Okay, I don't want to, I shouldn't go too far in the game mechanics, but I guess I just was curious why you chose. Weapon that is okay. good. Okay. Weapon that is good. Weapon that is good. Weapon. Okay. Is that better? Does that no. sound great? No, it doesn't roll off the tongue as well as shotgun. Yeah, no, shotgun always so rolls you, off you, the tongue. You murdered all the super mutants. Oh my god! Let me tell you. By the way, the the I was gonna say vodka, but I realized I drank mm. rum. That kicked in a lot. Okay, so and I'm warm. I know you are. I'm you, tingly. You, you took five shots, so you should be. Very warm. I think I should take one more. No, I think you're good. You're approaching the I'm so drunk, what could more what could go wrong with more? And I'm gonna God, I hate I'm that. here as your sober buddy to prevent that. Alright, 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 alright. So we're at the necropolis. You yeah. go alright. So no, you, you go the, you go kill right. you go kill those guys those you're super the necropolis. You kill and them. and you're standing over the super moon and you're like, What the fuck is this? Holy shit! Wait, have you never encountered super mutants? No, this is the first time you've encountered super mutants. So, so, so it's not only the first time, but you encountered, like, how many? You kind of like, five. That is a lot if you've never encountered And one of them had a giant fucking flamethrower, and so, you're, like, you're breathing heavily, and you're just, you, you your you, hands... So I'm sorry, you beat a flamethrower with a shotgun when you played? Is that what you He had doing? to reload. He had to reload, and I shot him in his stupid fucking super mutant face. So you, face. you shot flamethrower John Cena in his face. dun 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 a dead yes. Um. So, um. 
<laughs> then afterwards, you're like, what the fuck is this? And, and you look at the dog, and the dog is like, Bork? And you're like, it's dead! Dog meat? What the shit? And he's like, Bork. I have a dog meat plushie that I should be holding meat? for okay. this. You, want your dog meat plushie? you can't you can't reach that high. I put him up there. Did you? You don't have to be a monster, Gideon. <sighs> Boom, dog meat. He's actually super soft. He okay, he's so, got goggles. Does he have goggles in the game? Okay, in in one through th- one up until four, he does not. Mm-hmm. But in four, you can equip your dog meat. That sounds amazing. And a bandana? It, you could give him a bandana, too. I gave him a bandana and goggles. I was like, you're my puppers. You're I my puppers. Pup, 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 you, you eventually fix their pump, and they're like, uh-huh. yeah, take the water chip. It's cool, man. You're good. Uh-huh. And you, you like, bro-fist the, the ghouls and be like, we're fam now. And then they're like, are we? And you're like, bring it in. And you hug, and you get a little irradiated, <laughs> but you feel tingly in a good way. Like, it's the tingly radiation of friendship. And you love it. And you're like, I never thought I'd be friends with zombies. And they're like, that's racist. And you're like, it really is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really have learned from my actions and shouldn't have ever said that in the beginning, but I was misinformed and I, I apologize. And they're like, fam, it's cool. It's cool, man. Just can you tell everybody not to call us zombies? And you're like, I will. And from every do moment on in every Fallout game, oh, anytime somebody's like, ghouls are zombies, I'm like, just takes off gloves. Oh, so you, you personally bring justice to the I ghouls. do, because okay. ghouls are people. Ghouls are great, and okay. I, I love them. In, in 3, there's a ghoul that I'm just like, he's like, you're not going to treat me like a piece of shit? And you're like, why? He's like, because everyone does. And you're like, his name is Gob, and I'm like, Gob, you're bae. Just, <laughs> he's bae. He is. He's just so does, innocent does, and sweet. Is it because he dabs? No, because he gives you drinks, and he's like, you're not going to yell at me or hit me? And I'm like, why would I hit you, Gob? He's like, because I'm a ghoul. And it was like, you're still a person. Oh. And I was like, I've been living in a hole for 200 years and I'm still that fucking cool. <laughs> and he's like, you really are. You're not extra like the rest of these bitches. And that's Fallout 3. We just fast forward to that. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, no, that... <laughs> Rewinding back to Fallout. Is Gob Fallout 1 or 3? I'm really... 3, 3, 3. So you just started talking about companion in three. I didn't even realize. Yeah. Okay, all right. I just incidentally. Are we done put... with one yet? What, what happened? No, no, we're we're almost done with one. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So after that, you get the water chip, right? Uh huh. And you you're like, da, 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 I finished my quest. Fuck yeah! And you go back to the vault and you give him the water chip, and your overseer's like, "Good job." Okay, so we're gonna have a little side note here because it's great. Mm-hmm. Um. You're over. Depending on your intelligence, you could actually just talk in guttural grunts if you had like an intelligence of like you, three. Wait, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Higher intelligence was ideal, but you could just be like, and the water overseer would be like, the overseer would be like, do you have the chip? Be like, chip. Uh, and you, they'd be like, okay, do you have the chip or not? And you'd be like, chip. Would that be the whole game? Like, yeah. No. Game? This. You, you, depending on your intelligence, you could actually play someone who just talked in grunts. Like, everybody. To, to everyone, you would talk in grunts, yes. Oh my god. Yeah, higher intelligence meant you got more options. Holy crap. Isn't that crazy? That's, why don't more games do that? That sounds amazing. Because Fallout is amazing and should always be revered. Anyway. Um, hmm. so, um, you go back to the vault, and they're like, oh man, this is, this fixes all of our problems. But, hey, funny story. Yeah. Those super mutants you mentioned, that's a problem. And you're like, are you asking me to solve the super mutant problem? And he's he's like, kind of? How are you supposed to solve that? And that's what you asked. And you're like, how the fuck am I supposed to solve that? It's like, I don't know. Find also, out they're- where they're coming from. And you're like. I guess it's that just fucking easy. I was gonna say, like, how big is the world? Like, what? It's California, so it's pretty fucking okay, big. Okay, but you don't know if super mutants. You're on foot, and it's California. California. Okay. 
I have You're so many on problems with this. Yeah. I'm aware. Like, even if God forbid, like, you know, it's the entire world. Wait, yeah, I didn't ask that. It's the, is it the entire world that was nuked, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sobering up already. I think you're lying to me, but you can take another shot to be safe. Okay, so, afterwards, so right, you're like, how the fuck am I going to find out about these super mutants? Yeah. And they're, he was like, oh, not my problem. And you're like, wow. <laughs> wow. That is fucked up, dude. And he's like, and you're like, okay. He thanks. literally puts his hands up like, not my problem. Kind of? Yeah. Mm. So you get going in there, and eventually you stumble upon the um, the bunker headquarters of the Brotherhood of Steel. Mm -hmm. And they're an organization that were former, like, U.S. soldiers who were like, let's hoard technology and save the wasteland. But how? By hoarding technology and saving the wasteland. <gasps> Genius. Anyway, so you go there and... The, oh, wait, who is this? The Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. And so you go there and you're like, and they're like, move along. And you're like, wait, wait. What is this? And they're are like, those... this is the light headquarters of the Brotherhood of Steel! Are those the power armor people? Yeah, they're the power okay, armor okay. people. And you're like, what's the Brotherhood of Steel? And they're like, ha! Can you force pose with the Brotherhood of Steel? And you're like, that doesn't answer my question at all, but okay. Um, can so I go anime... in? And they're like, so they're... no civilians allowed. They're they're anime fans. Yeah, they're, we're, okay. we're, the Brotherhood of Steel is now anime magical okay. girl fans. They're all well, magical Well, you said girl. Ginyu Force. That's not a magical girl anime. But You know okay. what? We're going to say it is now. Okay. We're just going to just totally rewrite history. Okay. Anyway, so they boop you on the nose and be like, you can't enter. And you're like, well, how can I enter? They're like, I guess you could go to the glow. Okay. And you're like, what's the glow? And it's like, oh, okay, if you're serious, it's an, an irradiated ruin. Mm-hmm. And nobody who's ever gone has ever returned. And you're like, is that a challenge? And then you Barney stints in that shit and you're like, like John Cena. And you're just, you're done. You're like, do you, all right. Do you Barney stints in it or do you John Cena it? You those are Barney two very Cena it. <laughs> okay. So you go to the glow, which they mark it on your map. And you're like, holy fuck, it's irradiated as fuck. So you're just like, you know what I need? What? I need... The magical power of drugs. And you just take Rad X. Oh. Rad X, which yeah. is like some pills, and you're just like, yeah. drugs, 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 drugs. I'm immune to radiation. And you just, you take a grappling hook, and yeah. you go down in the pit, and you're like, yeah. you're like, radiation's got nothing on me. N -n 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 nothing on me. Okay. And you go down there, and you regret it instantly, because not only is it irradiated as fuck, uh -huh. but it's full of fucking robots who are like, what, what are you doing here? Oh. Bzz, bzz, what are you doing here? And you're like, I'm trying to find answers. And they're like, well, that's not allowed. Bzz, bzz. And you're like, do you have to buzz like you're a bee? Kind of. Bzz, bzz. And you're like, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. And problem solved. Or sniper rifle, sniper rifle, sniper rifle. You know, wh whichever you felt like playing. I played as a sniper, so I was like, ba -bow, ba -bow, ba -bow. Yeah. All right, so That's you go things. there, and they want like they want like some records or some shit, right? And you go there, and you actually find out information about uh -huh. an, an old military base that was associated with the glow, because okay. the glow was actually called like a research facility or something before yeah. it got cratered. Yeah, cratered sounds like you just got your ass fucked up. Sure, that, that's exactly what I was thinking when you you brought that up. Yeah, <laughs> you just got cratered. Okay. Anyway, so you go from the glow. So to the the because you keep stopping with sound effects. So just so I'm clear, we're still solving the super mutant problem. Yeah, yeah. This is all about okay, the super mutant. Get about... your shit together, okay? <laughs> this is about the super mutant. Okay. There's a reason you're finding out why they're there yeah, and, and where so, they're located. And so you think they're in the glow? No, you stumbled upon the Brotherhood of Steel, and Who you're like, you "How do I join you?" Because they have good gear. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they're is... wearing power armor. But this is important to you finding about the super mutant. Right? Yes. Okay. Because okay. at the glow, you find out that there's a place called the Mariposa Military Base, where okay. they conducted experiments on something called FEV, which was called FEV, the Forced Evolutionary Virus, the oh. thing that shows that could be the cause of Wait. super mutants. Wait. So, really? Yeah. They're Super mutants were forcibly evolved Actually, using a virus. That's dumb, because technically ghouls are man-made. I shouldn't phrase it as that. But... No. So this is what the Fallout Bible talks about. Ghouls were actually man-made due to radiation, right? Yeah. That's stupid! 
Even in 1990-something, we found out that that's impossible. How could it be possible? Because the air was laden with FEV oh, virus. Oh, oh, so legit everything's there. I mean... A virus mixed with the radiation caused a mutation in humans to create them into ghouls. I'm gonna... That's why ghouls are yeah. sterile. Spoiler alert, that's going to come up in the future part of this podcast. All right, so Continue. you eventually go back. You get the data from the glow. You go back to the Lost Souls bunker, a.k.a. the headquarters of the Brotherhood of the Seal, and they're like, shit, fam, you're alive? And you're like, 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 hey, Zeus himself, you, you, you glow a little and be like, yeah. it's the irradiation, but you get the point. And they're like, shit, welcome to the Brotherhood. High fives you, and you go down in the bunker, so, you're like, power armor this, wait, power armor that. Wait, so they were expecting you to die? Oh yeah, they were being trolls. And when you came oh. back with the info that they wanted, they were like... I guess they had to make you. They are like, you're kind of a big deal, dude. And they, okay. you're like this. Okay. I know it. He knows it, he does. And you get in there, right? Yeah. And you know it, obviously. Right, yeah. We've established you know it. All right, so what was I talking about? You just became a Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so you're just, like, doing your thing, and you talk about the Mariposa military base, and you're like, I'm going to go check this shit out, fam. Yeah. And they're like, you do that. So you go there. Yeah. And it's a base crawling with, guess what? Super mutants? Super mutants. You got okay. it. High five. Oh, we're Yo. actually high five. I'm, yeah, I'm no, that's I'm high sorry. five. You guessed it. Come on. I know we were actually high fiving. Anyway, so you're high five in me, and there's a bunch of super mutants, and guess what they all have? Bullshit fucking weaponry like rocket launchers that one shot you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it, while exploring, you kill them, right? Okay. You can actually convince some of the Brotherhood to steal paladins to come with you if you if you side with them. Okay. Basically, it's being like, listen, I found out a base that's going to have high activity of these super mutants, and they know about the super mutants because they killed one before, mm-hmm. and they were autopsying it. Right? Yeah. And if you have intellect or... It's something you have to do, but you find out a secret. And this comes mm-hmm. up important later. Super mutants mm-hmm. are sterile, just like ghouls. They can't breed. <clears throat> the only way they can become super mutants is using FEV, the forced evolutionary virus, mm-hmm. on them. On a human. Hmm. Right? Okay. So that's important. Remember, yeah, yeah, put yeah. a pin in that. Are you putting a pin in that? Um... I don't yes. see you putting a pin in that. I uh, boop. Boom. Okay, okay, you just booped it. Good. All right, so you go in there and you. This is a sad part, guys. Oh no. Canonically, this is where dog meat dies, because dogs are colorblind. But it comes back like Ian, right? No. Actually, yes. In a way, due to time travel bullshit. Oh, I and... was gonna point to your puppy shirt. No. No, that's in Fallout 3 where you can get a perk to have your puppy come oh, back. That's only in 3? That's only in 3. Huh. Because in 4, they were like, dude, no one's going to just let the dog die and be like, I guess I'm going to let the dog die. So they made companions immortal. Right. Because it was dumb. So you go to this base, and there's a bunch of, like, laser fields, right? Yeah. But okay. they're color-coded. And guess what color- dogs are? Colorblind? They're colorblind. And dog meat dives through one to try and save you. And he be a zaps dick himself. Bethesda? And it was at this point that the Vault Dweller actually talks about how their like one of their best friends died because they love dog meat. They actually talk about it in the the Fallout Bible is their memoir. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. So anyway, you're you're overcome with rage at this. Yeah. And actually for me, I actually I saved dog meat by like just be like, don't don't move anywhere, just stay here. I, I made him stay outside and uh, do that. So, you, so anyway, you, you go through the base, the and there's super mutants there. You're like... Wait, so you can save him in the game? It's yeah, just Yeah, but canonically he died. Aww. And then canonically in 2, you entered a cafe that was displaced in time, and you saw dog meat, and because you were wearing the, the original Vault Dweller's outfit in 2, because you're their grandchild, you? the dog follows you and becomes... The dog meat in 1 and 2 are the same dog. Time travel bullshit. Time travel And if you ask bullshit. me why that's a thing, well, as an Easter egg in Fallout 1, mm. you can find Doctor Who's Tartarus. It disappears once you go close to it. That's great. Yeah. Fallout has so many Easter eggs, it's wonderful. Okay, so you go through the the, the mutants and stuff, and you find the, the master's second in command. Right. Who's the master, do you ask? I don't know. The motherfucker... 
who's making all these super mutants. Oh, okay. So it's not someone you knew already. No. Because I was worried that's what you were going to no, say. No, no. There's a guy who mentions the master, and you find out that there's this guy named the master. Okay. So you kill everybody Wait, there, and you're just like, just no a... big deal. They're just super mutants. Wait, so who mentions him? Just a guy? The second in command to the master. A giant okay. ass super mutant. Okay. And you just kill them all, and you're like, dude, I'm special. And they're and he's like dying, and he's like, no, you're not. You're a dick. And you you kick him, and you're like, shit, you're actually really thick with muscle. And he's like, I am actually the apex of humanity and mutants. And you kind of, like, kneel down while he's coughing up blood, and you're like, then how come you sterile, fam? Oh, they're sterile? And he just, yeah, super mutants are sterile. It's done in oh. an autopsy. Well, wait, okay, wait. I know they're, like, sentient, but are they actually, like, they could have a civilization sentient? They are, but most of them are <laughs> dumb. Like, one out of every, like, hundred is moderately intelligent. Okay. Yeah. I thought like, I... Like, when I say moderately intelligent, that's being really Because I thought I remembered that... Some are you really know. smart, actually, like Marcus, which I will get to. Marcus is in the oh, second cool. game. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's, it's actually so really make, cool. you make super mutant friends. Yeah, you do. Huh. You in, in 2, 3, and New Vegas, mm -hmm. and 4, you can have a super mutant companion. Okay. All right, so you, you deal with this, and you're just like, man, this is where they're making all the super mutants. Mm -hmm. And you look at Dogmeat's corpse, and you're like, for you, man. And you blow it all up. You just blow up that stupid fucking Where they're fortune. making the virus. Yeah. Okay. Well, the virus is already made. It's just like giant vats But like of it virus. no longer is distributing it. Anyway. All right. Um, <laughs> so you find out about the master and you tell the Brotherhood of the Steel and they're like, yo, dude, you got to handle this. And you're like, what? And they're like, yo, you're kind of best suited. You, you handled all this shit yourself, and you're like, didn't you send me to my death at the glow, and I proved you wrong? And they're like, they put your hand, their hand on your shoulder, mm -hmm. and they kind of grip tight, and be like, yes. Okay. Now go fix all the problems of the wasteland, and you're like... Wait, he sends you out I again? I guess? Wait, wait, he sends you out again? Brotherhood of Steel, not the vault. The, oh, I'm sorry. The vault overseer was like, just handle it. And so you eventually found the Brotherhood of Steel, and you're right, like, no, I what, guess I'll handle it. So, wait, so you go back to the Brotherhood, not the Vault, and they Yeah, yeah, I said the Brotherhood. A, why don't you go back to the Overseer? Can you not? Because you're Because you didn't solve the super mutant problem. You kind of What else are you supposed to do? Kill all super mutants? You don't know how many there are. Have you ever heard of genocide? I mean, that is what I described, but my point is, how are you supposed to- You didn't to kill them all if you didn't kill their leader. So they're like vampires. Old school vampires. No, 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 no. They're not like the leader has to die for all of them to simultaneously, by a well, collective that, hive mind, that's what die. You just described. No, I'm saying you kill the bitch in charge who keeps making them because if he made them well, once you and you took that. out their means of production, doesn't mean he doesn't have another means of production. You wrap this shit up. Wait, but then how many means of production is what you're telling me? Is we don't know. That's why we're gonna go find the, the, just, the master. You just Halo 2'd me where it's like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of rings. That's what you just did to me. Did I? Yes, because you're like, you destroyed where the virus is being made, but you didn't take out where the virus is being made. That's what you just did. No, no, we didn't handle the person who decided to do this. Okay. You know, the leader. El Gigante. Okay. The big one. So we go there, okay. all right? Yeah. And we eventually go to the place called the Boneyard, I think it is. Okay. And we're like, hey, is there like a cult or anything around here? And then someone's like, no, but there's death claws over in that waste area, and you're like, all right, pow, 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 pow. and then you you do a couple of side quests, right. and eventually you find something called the cathedral, and you're like, wow, this is a cult, and the priest in charge is like, did someone say cult? You just shook your camera so much, right? Now. And 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 they're like, and you're like, yeah, this is kind of like a cult. You're all like. Pre peace and brotherhood in the wasteland. What we're gonna kill everybody, but peace and brotherhood. It, what was that middle part? Peace and brotherhood. No, you just said that twice. Did we? Yeah, you cult. And you oh, go wait, there wait. and you find out that there's another vault, but it was a never finished vault. It was like a prototype vault okay. under the cathedral. Okay. So you go there, you free wait, captives. Okay. Time out a sec. You said yeah. there's like a hundred. Roughly a hundred volts. Prototype, right? never finished, doesn't no, count. No, no, let me let me finish though. You said there's like roughly a hundred, right? Yeah. Okay. So 
You're in North California, no, no. they're in South if California. If there are 50 states, yeah. and you found, like, four in California, are there certain states where there are no vaults? Okay, listen to me. Yeah. I doubt they put one in, like, Montana, because Montana sucks. If you're listening to this, and you're from Montana, I'm sorry, I was just making a point, and Montana is the first state that entered my drunk mind. Montana is probably really lovely, and I like cows. Disclaimer, cows are in Montana, the right? The Fierce Ferrets has no negative feelings towards Montana. The Fierce Ferret Foundry and Fierce Ferret Productions do not have any negative connotations or beliefs towards the state of Man- Montana I just, I, in the United States of America. I just feel like Montana for life. We're waving a Montana state flag. We're if this is on video, it. my arm is off screen and you cannot tell. So don't even fucking what is, tell me. What does the state flag look like? Hold on a second. No, you can't Google it. That's I'm not Googling it. I'm they not Googling it. it. I'm it. not Googling it. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. I'm not Googling it. You... I'm not Googling it. We're singing a song. It's a weirdly poorly drawn map that says Aura Planta and it's got like a shovel and a pickaxe in the okay, bottom. You... Mountains and a river. I didn't Google shit! So, anyway, <laughs> someone just linked me the Google. Hashtag support for Montana. <laughs> Hashtag support for Montana. Um, anyway, anyway, so you go to the cathedral, yes, right? the cathedral. Yeah, right? Like, that is in an ominous area. And you find, like, another second in command. Like, I guess okay. a second second in command, okay. which would be the third in command. Okay. And they have, like, a number two on there, okay. but... Like, if you actually lift it up a little bit, it's right. actually a number three. And you're like, no, 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 Fuck you. You have to let me ask questions. Yeah. Okay. Ask questions. Not that you were saying that to me. Um, but, um, crap. What was my question? Wait, so how, how many people are in charge of this now? You're about to find out. Okay. Yeah. So there's a guy, and he's he's like he's like just normal human. He's like, yeah. I believe in the in the children of the fuck. I can't remember the name. Children of the Ad, no, Adam or children of the I I don't remember. It's children of something. We're a fucking cult. So like, does it matter? Children and then you're of, like, are you actually part of a cult? And he's like, children, uh-huh. children of the fucking cult. <laughs> children of the fucking cult. And you're like, are you all kids? And you're like, no, we're actually adults and super mutants. Super mutants? What? Shh, shh. Wait, they have super mutant members? Like, one. And guess are... what? What? They have stealth boys. What's a stealth boy? I'm glad you asked, Backlam. A stealth boy is an advanced piece of technology constructed in pre-Great War mm-hmm. America. It was actually developed uh, either by the Americans or the Chinese. It's basically a stealth generator. Pre- you wear it around your belt... And you are invisible. Like a cloak of invisibility from Harry Potter. Only a technical solution to that. So they're not made anymore, which makes them rare. Yes. Because you said pre green There's no there's no there's no production of them. Right. That okay. we know of. I don't know. One state could have a bunch of robots making them. But so we haven't vaults, found a fallout game. Instead of vaults, they just got a bunch of factories to make shit. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so Um <laughs> I don't want to set the world on fire. So I'm trying to remember. They're they're yeah. super mutants who could stealth. How fucked right. up is that? So yeah, you, that ki- sounds you kill awful. them and you so go underneath. I'm the picturing cathed- John Cena with a flamethrower who can go invisible. <laughs> That's like oh, with what? that face that John Cena does. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Fuck your shit up. Now you see how bright your face is compared to when you looked at the Montana flag. I That's didn't look it up. You're a liar, and I don't even care. I've talked a lot about You've Fallout a lot, 1. Yeah. And we're not even up we're to not two. even up to two yet. No, you gotta like learn to summarize this some more. It well, okay, Fallout One is the most crucial one. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Because it sets up everything else. Okay. I can talk Fallout Three has a lot of side quests that we don't really need to talk about. That was but the... Fallout One was literally all main quests and like a little bit of side quests. Well, okay, so everything I've talked about in Fallout yeah. has been in in Fallout One yeah. has been integral to the side uh the to the to the whole thing of Fallout One. So, There's no side quest. Right. Okay, so... Except except talking about killing in dark water. Do I, get, do I get to ask my question? Yeah. Just keep cutting me off. Do I? Yeah. You've cut me off several times. Okay. Uh. Oh, crap. What was my question? Oh, no. Wait. 
I was so frustrated because you kept cutting me off. What were we, we talked about stealth boys. But this was about... You told me to about sum it up, and every time I'm about to sum it up, you keep interrupting me no, with questions. No, this is like an important question. Ah! Alright, can I continue? Yeah, I guess continue. Alright, so eventually you kill the, the second second in command, aka yeah. the third in command, because yeah. they're fucking dumb and don't know sequencing. Anyway, so you get a key off of him, you yeah. go underneath the cathedral, yeah. and you're like, holy fuck, there's an incomplete vault here. And there's people Wait, he so wants to turn into... Wait, the was yeah. on top of the incomplete yeah. vault. Yeah, there's okay. people that he wants to turn into super mutants, right? Yeah. But they're psychics. Oh. Yeah, they, they've mutated to the part where they get psychic abilities. Okay. And you, you're you like, is there anything I could do to stop this? And he's like, yeah, here's this hand headband that they put mm -hmm. on me to limit my psychic abilities, but it works both ways. And you're like... So psychic abilities yeah. are canon in this universe. Yeah, yeah, but they've oh. only been touched upon in, in, in Fallout 1. That sucks. Right? You should be a character with that. That'd be bitch. I know, but enemies have it. That sucks! <laughs> Myrl are kings. And the, those are the crabs, right? Yeah. Oh, I remember my question. Fallout 3 was their first, like, open-world first-person game, though, right? Yeah, that was the Bethesda two, that did it. Originally, Fallout were... 3 was a different game entirely. Wait, Bethesda didn't do 1 and 2? No. You kept calling it a Bethesda game. Fallout 3 was a Bethesda game. That's okay, what so it. wait, 1 and 2, they were they were bird's eye, right? Okay. Who made those? A company called Black Isle Studios slash Interplay. Oh, uh, okay. Do you, know, do you know Interplay? No. Okay, have you ever heard of the go game called Clay Fighters? Yes. My they brother made used that. to play that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so... so you're right. up to in charge guy. Or you, you destroy no, in you, charge you get, guy. You, get this you found the key. Alright, so you go... So the vault is under the cathedral. To the, the bottom of it, right? Yeah. To the vault. Wait, was you... the cathedral finished? Yeah, yeah. The cathedral, the vault is under the cathedral. Right, but was the cathedral in prime built condition? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was really well maintained. It was a bitchin' cathedral? Okay. <laughs> like, we're talking like the Pope could have, like, put his feet up there. Right, 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 okay. Anyway, all right, so, you get there uh -huh. at the bottom, and uh -huh. you see the most grotesque fucking mutant you have ever seen. Like, every other <laughs> Fallout has not done this one, Joseph. He's fucking grody. Google like... the master from Fallout. Google it right now. Google it so you know. <laughs> See, I'll admit when I'm Googling something, unlike some people in this podcast. What, the master? Yeah. In Fallout 1. Yeah, just Google master Fallout. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oof. Wow. He's a You're going to have to give him quiet just to make this even taller. He's a bunch of meat and flesh and tubes over a computer screen. That is. You don't say. I imagine having to talk to him. So, cool Does, thing wait, about this. so was he actually, like, animated talking? Uh-huh. Alright, hold on, I gotta look up a video of him talking. Just Google Master no, Fallout, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is jarring. Oh, no, you wanna know what's really jarring? Oh. Jim Cummings voiced it. But not just Jim Cummings, a woman voiced it, too. Because the Master is agendered, so it does both. Because it, it has evolved past the need for gender. Non-binaries, just saying. Well, a gender means no gender, so it wouldn't be both. Okay, so just... I'm drunk. Just let me well, help. That's why I'm helping you out. I know what you're trying to say, but yeah. Anyway, so like it's it, it just it's like distorted. And the and animation shit. is so jarring to look at. Oh my, oh my god. god, it's fucking creepy, right? Yeah. That claim is it creepy? Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah. So anyway, you talk to it, and you there's two ways to beat it, right? Yeah. One of the ways is to just straight up fight it, and that's why you got the psychic headband. Because he'll he'll fuck you up mentally. Right. It's a psionic a mutant. Right. Anyway, he's like, humans are not going to be a thing. Humans are going to be a thing. Like it, like actually talks like that, where it's talking calmly, then yells. Talking calmly, then yells, and you're like, could you not? And the, he's like, no. <gasps> anyway, so this is the end of the game. Though, this right? is the end. The We're at the end. Yeah. He looks no, like everything. A last boss. Every. Do you think? He yeah. looks like a final. And boss. everything I mentioned actually <gasps> had a purpose. Yeah. So you talk to him, and if your charisma is high enough, and you talked to the Brotherhood of Steel and found out about the super mutants being sterile, it matters. Well, you can skip the Brotherhood of Steel, or oh yeah, you can skip anything. You can just go right to the Master if you want. Oh my God. Oh, okay, we'll continue. You talk to them. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah. Anywho, so you're talking to him, and he's like, "Super mutants are the apex. I have made them because humanity cannot survive in the wasteland. 
But imagine I have a robotic voice and yell yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you anyway. have like a bunch of meat and flesh and tubes over. And, and also things. sometimes change to a woman's perspective. Right, yeah, yeah. Because it's a man and a that. woman talking at the same <clears> time. <throat> Anywho. And you're like, <clears throat> super mutants are the apex of humanity? He goes, yes. And you're like, you know they're sterile, right? He goes, what? Yeah, they're sterile. Here's some evidence. <gasps> I got it from the Brotherhood of Steel. They did an autopsy. They're sterile. And this uh, master guy you know, literally just... goes like this. <laughs> what? And you're like, yeah, they can't breed. So your super mutant, like, glorious master race, you fucking Nazi, are gonna be dead in, like, two generations. Yeah, they live, like, 400 years, but they can't breed. So without humans, your super race can't exist. And he's like, oh, shit! Oh, fuck, 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 Oh, shit, I put a lot of effort in this. I'm a fucking tube monster. Oh, fuck! Fuck, fuck! Oh, God. Oh, oh, shit. And you're like, are you still gonna do this? He's like, no! It was for nothing! Yeah. I gotta blow myself up. And you're like... Oh, that that's his solution. Like, you're yeah, not, yeah, and, and, and you're you're not like, paraphrasing? I'm not. I'm not. He's like, I, I, got, I got out. I'm not gonna yeah. live like this. I fucked up. I fucked up, fucked up, fucked up, fucked up. Oh, shit. And you're like... Wait, when you say blow up, do you mean like with a timer? And he's like, yeah. You wanna go home, fam? And you're like... Oh, so he lets you go. He's not And you're mad. like, yeah, could you let me? And he's like, yeah, you, you kind of made me see the error of my ways here, dude. Um... Wait, okay, so you can pretty much make him commit seppuku. Yeah, but because now, he fucked up. But, okay. That's so the what, end of Fallout 1. What if you don't talk to the Brotherhood of Steel? You talk to the Brotherhood after you find out about the Super Mutants being started. No, what if, what if you don't? Then <laughs> you gotta fight his ass. How does he fight you? <laughs> he summons turrets everywhere. And he uses psionic attacks that ignore damage so resistance. So you can't just... Aren't you up in his face? From the video, like, you're up in his face. You couldn't just, like... He has 500 up HP. A bunch of times? That's he has 500 it. HP. Damn, He's a computer console. Damn video game logic. So that's Fallout 1. It, well, actually, there's one more note. Okay. So you go back to the vault. Yeah. And you, you go to the vault overseer. Yeah. And he's waiting for you outside the vault. He's like, hey. Oh, so now we're back at the vault. Yeah. You, okay, you, now, now you've we're given back. him the chip. You've solved the super mutants. You've solved the super mutant problem. And you're like, and he, you're like, hey, what's up? And he's like, hey. <laughs> and you're like, hey. And he's like, hey. So are you, are you going to finish your coherent sentence? Yeah, it just he rubs his neck. And he's like, "This is kind of awkward." Okay. So you're exiled, and you're like, "What?" He's like, "Okay, so you know how you did all these awesome things, like you saved the wasteland, uh-huh. you saved the vault, you uh-huh. stopped the super mutant threat." If I let you back in, kids are gonna want to emulate you, and we gotta think of the children. And you're like, "I I want to go." And Wait, you're really? like, "I you're like, Wait, I want to." Really, what he says? Yes paraphrasing but that is basically what he says people will imitate you is what he says for leaving for Why? leaving the vault not being in danger thriving and and, and adhering to really challenges thrive? and becoming stronger for it and he's God. like yeah so if you take the bloody mess perk it's the non-canon ending but you shoot him and blow his ass up like into a bloody. I want to shoot him. Right? No, everybody else would. So want canonically, it. canonically, he's what, he he he's just like, listen, you understand, right? And you're like, I guess, okay. I guess I'll just go wet, die in the wasteland, and the ending is you walking by yourself. But that's not where it ends. That's where we get up to Fallout Two. No, you're so, walking with dog meat because in all of our hearts and minds, he lives. Right? Yeah, he did. Anyway, Sorry, so continue. um, so what happens is, in between Fallout One and Two. Mm-hmm. A bunch of people were like, that's fucking bullshit, dude. Mm-hmm. He saved us. You shouldn't let him. And he's like, get out. And they're like, they're like this. They flipped them yeah. off. Okay, so a bunch of people eventually leave and they are just fucking useless. And the lone oh. wanderer from, I'm sorry, not the, the vault dweller from one is like, Steven? Pat? Is that you? Pat's a gender neutral name because Pat could be male or female, like right, Patricia or yes. Patrick, mm-hmm. and the Vault Dweller marries them. Aww. Yeah. 
And they're like, is that you? And they're like, yeah, we thought it was bullshit that you got kicked out. And you're like, oh. So canonically, you get married. Canonically, the vault dweller gets married and has children and then has grandchildren. And then one day after their beloved Pat dies, they're just like, I'm out. They they go and they travel north and found a, a place called Arroyo. Oh thank God. That was not what I thought when he said I'm out. No no I got Okay, really so concerned. no when he goes I'm out, he just disappears. They just disappear because you could be male or female. Right. That's the beauty of Pat being gender neutral. No, Pat was I thought Pat was your Wait, who dies? You or Pat? Pat dies. Pat is your spouse. So you're talking about the, the vault dwellers, do The vault dweller from Vault thirteen, the yes. protagonist of they leave, not Pat. They Pat leave. Dies. After their okay. beloved dies, as an old person, they leave and they yeah. travel the wastelands again. Aww. And it's not canon, but. but in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, a game released on PlayStation 2, yeah. as a secret character, you could get the Vault Dweller from 1, Ooh. who is this old, grizzled man like Obi-Wan Kenobi on fucking steroids. That's amazing. Like, he's got, like, knives and guns all over so him, and he's like, what male, up? the male version. Yeah, it's basically implied. It's still nice, though. It, it, yeah. I'm not going to be that guy. Yeah. Or that girl. Not that person. I get you. Okay, anyway. great. So, so anyway, they found this place called uh, Arroyo. And we're now getting to Fallout 2, where we're going to go much quicker. Because Fallout 1 is the big meaty one. Yeah, it's the okay. big meaty one. There's not a lot of side quests. We're not going to okay. talk about side quests. Okay. Anyway, so in Fallout 2, you are the grandchild of the first... Of the first ca- uh, game's protagonist, the Vault oh, You are the chosen one. Your civilization, Arroyo, has been waylaid by... Um, drought. And your crops are dying. And everybody's yeah. kind of tribal. Oh, okay. Well, that... Right? Okay. And so you do that. a challenge to like... prove that you're worthy to be the chosen oh, one. Oh my god, like Horizon Zero Dawn. What? Like Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. Yeah, exactly yeah, like yeah, Horizon yeah. Zero Dawn. Okay, sorry. I keep it's on. Horizon Zero Fallout Dawn. Working title. Working title. Bethesda, don't rip them off. Okay, I like Horizon Zero Dawn. Just let them have this. Okay. Workshop it. Anyway, so, um... What's I talking about? Fallout 2. Thank you. are the grandchild. Everything's trial. You do a trial, and you fight a bunch of scorpions with a spear in your bare fists and feet, and it sucks. Because you miss every time, and you're just like, God So you didn't like the opening to Fallout 2? Not really. Eventually, you end up coming to the chamber with your ancestors' clothing and gun and everything, and your your mom, who is their child, yeah, like your grandparents' child, yeah. that's how genetics work. Right, yes. They're like, they're like dying and old and everything, Aww. and they're like, hey, hey, it's an old With woman. that face. Yeah, like the eye is twitching and everything, oh, okay. and like, hey. Okay. So here's some things they call money. The caps or the actual money? Yeah, caps. And okay. then we, we traded it. We're tribal, okay. but we're not dumbasses. And then there's another guy who's like, well, actually, we huff paint to get myths, mystical visions. And then she's like, okay, seriously? I'm trying to talk to my grandchild, my child. So she's not buying any of the bull crap of the tribal thing. No, she, they're all they're all kind of dumb. They're tribal. Doesn't make them dumb. It makes them dumb if they're huffing paint. Anyway. Like, legit, I'm yeah, not I, lying. I'm not, They're huffing yes, paint. Yes, I understand. Yeah. So, like, paint, paint. Anyway, because you like said... Like, lead is, paint. So this is the condensed version, because we, anyway, we've gone through all of So one. they're like, you need to find mm-hmm. a geck. What's a geck, you ask? It, I, yes, I, I do twist. ask that. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Okay. It was foretold by your grandfather uh-huh. about a briefcase, and Louis Armstrong did an opening about the vault. Okay. Like you know, like oh, what a wonderful world! So let, I let's let's just. She said that, but okay. Okay, let's just imagine Louis Armstrong is your grandmother. So you and need it... to get a geck. Where was I? <laughs> um, the oh, yeah. geck. The geck. The Garden of Eden creation kit. Yeah. It's like a brief case, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. It terraforms the area around you to make it fertile. That's advanced. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. No, that's that the whole plot point. Yeah. technology. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. No, you need to find a geck because your village okay. is dying. Okay. So you go off on an adventure. You get some You get some companions. And I'm not going to go into the side stuff. You no, eventually no. enter a place called Vault City where you're trying to like, do you have a geck? And they're like, we did. A city in a vault? Yeah. Okay. It was a city that was actually supposed to just be a vault. Okay. 
and it was supposed to do the whole thing that Vault Tech was. You're like, oh, hey, here's a geck. Make a city outside of it. Okay. And guess what happened with Vault City? It became a bunch of racist, bigoted oh. assholes who treated everybody outside of Vault City like second class people mm-hmm. and instituted Classism. indentured servitude. Those bitches. Right? And they you do them some solids. Do, you, I can't remember. Why, you do, why do privileged people always like end up like this? Yeah. Yeah. So you, you do them some favors to get access yeah. to their vault to find out where there could be a geck. Uh-huh. And eventually you come to terms with there being like like a geck. Uh-huh. And so you go back to your... your um, uh, like I said, we're recapping this. Fallout 4 was the main thing. There's a lot of side quests. Like you go to New Reno, which is like well, Reno, gonna, but new. you're going to stop at Fallout 4. Correct? Like, yeah. we're getting all yeah, the way. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, like, you go to New Reno, and you could, like, be a porn star. Can you really? Yeah, and you could solve some issues How with How old is this phone. game? Yeah. Think about that. That's crazy. You could be a cr- porn star. That's crazy. Fallout 2. Okay, anyway. So you get, a, you get like, a perk for doing What is the importance of Vault City? You go there, people are Yeah, well, you go there mainly to find out yeah. about, like, where a get could be, and yeah. you actually, like... There's a companion, then I bring this up because there's a companion in New Vegas who's actually their grandchild or their daughter. I don't remember. It's like one of those things. Yeah. They talk about their dad who left Vault City and they're kind of like their dad in a lot. His name was like John Cassidy or something. Okay. And her name is like Rose Cassidy. And she talks about her dad like he's a piece of shit, but in truth, he actually helped the Vault Dweller like save the world. So anyway, so you find out about this fucking thing yeah the geck and yeah. eventually you you manage to find one in an old vault and you go back to vault thir- uh you go you go to like vault 13 okay this right? is actually vault 13 yeah. this time okay right because you again and you find you out everybody's called... missing from vault 13 and everybody's missing from your village because a, a place called the enclave Wait, the vault or your village or both, both. Vault. Well, there's was a the, reason for it. Okay. Okay. Was Vault 13 near your village? V- yeah, it was. It was close enough. Okay. Like you know. Wait, was that foot. the vault from the first game or not? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh That's okay. where your grandfather was from. Anyway, so you go back and you find out that a guy named Frank Horrigan and the Enclave mm-hmm. kidnapped all of your family members, and they kidnapped all the members of Vault 13, where Just the Vault where 13? the Gek was. I think the Gek was from there. It was from some. Wait, vault. wait. You said you went to Vault City for a Gek. Did Vault? They didn't have it. They led you to a list of other vaults and you explore them. But you didn't vault check the, the vault that was next to you? No. What happens if you go there first? Can you not? I don't remember. I never did that. You never did that. But it's okay. the same result. You find out that it's abandoned because in the cutscene for Fallout 2, they, they, they get a signals all clear to come out and it's actually the Enclave who are like, Surprise, motherfuckers, and they Gatling gun them, and then they kidnap them. Wait, so the original Vault's dead? No. Oh. Killed and kidnapped. Killed some, so some of kidnapped them are dead. the rest. The Enclave... Wait, so they were gonna leave the Vault? Why? They got the signals all clear to leave. They were told that? Yes, by the Enclave. It was a trap. Who, who are the on- Are we about to find out who the Enclave are? Yes. Okay. Okay, so the Enclave is the remnants of the pre-Great War Mm -hmm. United States government who hungered down and were like, we're the rich elite who ruled the world and started the Great War. They actually are the ones who instigated everything, and they were behind Vault Tech's little social experiments because they wanted to fly off into space and colonize another planet with all the cream of the crop. So that's why the Gex were made. Yeah. Everything was made as a test to see if the rich could survive. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah! It's fucked up. Uh, it's unsurprisingly messed up, yeah. <laughs> yeah I like that first part. So, okay, so what do All you Alright, so you, you go to Vault 13 to find the Gek, and guess what you find? A bunch Dead of Death bodies? Claws. Oh. And they don't what attack you. What are Death you. Claws? <laughs> death Claws are like a lizard that mutate into... Wait, is that like... the thing we have the pop of? Yeah. We put that away, though. Oh, I should... We should Just Google that. a Death Claw right now. Death claw. Okay, so how can I, how can I like what? How can I describe a death claw? They have like know. horns. They look like. All right, I'm googling demons. it now so I can just describe it from the image. They, look they got like... long arms and long legs. Yeah, three they look toes like... on the feet. 
claws, like razor sharp claws. Yeah, they, they look, look like, like a ha- Halloween nightmare. No, they look like steroid demons. Yeah. yeah. They look like a demon. Anyway, so there's a vault full of them. Yeah. And you're like, uh, you're like Jordan Peele in that skit from Key and Peele where he's sweating a bunch. And you're just like, uh, uh, and then there's a guy in a cloak. And you'd be like, hey, what are you doing here? And you're like, hey, what are you doing here with all these death claws? No, they're peaceful. Turns out this motherfucker's a death claw. Yeah. Apparently he's hyper evolved to be a sentient death claw and just kind of like been like, yeah, these are my family. Aww. And then you're like, you make uh, friends, right? Yeah, you make friends. Like, why wouldn't you? Guys are friends with the death claw. Yeah. And so you go there and you're like, you are they going to kill me? And you're like, no, man. you going to attack anyone? And you're like, no, I'm not going to fuck with a death claw. They got damage resistance, like, up your ass. Up your ass damage resistance. I don't want that. That that sounds like... He's like, you got a gek? And you're like, yeah, we're we're able to chill in, like, the irradiated zone. And then we're like, can I have it? And you're like... The, he's like, yeah, sure. And then you get a gek, and you go back, and you get a psychic vision from, the, like, the tribal, like... So tribal paint powers? sniffer. Or, wait, does the tribal paint sniffer have psychic powers? Or do you yeah, yeah, he dies. He's like... These people in Wait, power so- armor came and kidnapped everyone. There's a reason. They kidnapped them to see how the vault group for 13 would be the control group. And then the village of Arroyo, which were the same people who moved out in the wasteland, would be the experimental group to see how they would react in the wasteland. It was a science experiment. Wow. So you go to San Francisco. Wait, 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 wait. So the guy from one was not let back in on purpose? Like, it wasn't like a spontaneous thing? Well, the Enclave didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, the overseer didn't. was like, I don't want people leaving the vault. Oh, so that was just a thing he decided, and the Enclave was like, we can use this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because okay. the Enclave are rich dicks. So okay. anyway, um, Anyway, so you go to San Francisco, and you, like, hang out with Brotherhood of Steel and, and Chinese gang members. Wait, you saw your, your entire village is gone. Why do you go hang out with the Brotherhood of Steel? Because you're trying to get them back from the Enclave. Because they're on oh. this so fucking oil tanker. You, yeah, they're on this oh, okay. oil, not oil tanker, they're on the oil rig. Okay. So you, you, you convince people to get, like, a ship okay. to, like, swim across the irradiated ocean to go to okay. that tanker. Yeah. And you go there, and you kill the President of the United States. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, because the Enclave still officially, like, has a president of the United States. Does everyone else know he's the president of the United States? Everybody within the Enclave does. He's the boss. And they created this this okay. asshole, Frank Horgan, from the Forced Evolutionary Virus, okay. who's like a paladin of steel brother armor paladin. Wait, is he a super mutant brother? Who is also a super mutant, yeah. So imagine a super mutant in power armor. Oh my god. And you're just like, holy fuck. And Does he have a flamethrower? No, he has a Gatling gun. Oh, that's way worse. It's way worse, because it has range. And he doesn't have recoil, because he's so strong. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's like a psychopath, because he failed every mental comprehensive test ever. Mm, I God. know, he's the final boss. After you kill the president, he's like, I'm going to enjoy killing you. And you're like, I brought five of my buddies and hacked every computer in this place, so fuck you. And guess what? I fucked that guy up! With dog meat that I got from the Heaven's Cafe by Warping Time Magic. Forgot about that. No, I didn't because dog meat. No, I said I forgot about Oh, you did. Okay. And that's that's pretty. And and then you go to the Arroyo after rescuing all the people from the vault and all the people from the the village. And you go to the the village and you're like, the village people are like, there's death claws in your vault. You ain't going back there. And they're like, there's death claws in the vault? What the fuck is that? It's like, it's like a demon on steroids. They're like, that doesn't sound good. He's like, no, it's not. And then they get Jordan Peele emoting everywhere. Right. And you're like, you want to, like, come come with us? And they're like, all right. And then you put a gek, and you're like, I'm the chosen one. Woo! I saved the Wait, day. Wait, so you terraform and everything's happy? Yeah. Happy ending for <gasps> Fallout 2. Yeah, you terraform everything, and... All the people, they mix and match, and they get together, and generations after, you know, they're both groups separated, they reunite, and Arroyo becomes, like, one of the best areas in California. Oh, I forgot, there was a big thing. Shady Sands from the first game. They became the new California Republic. 
So Tony Shalhoub became such a popular leader after you killed the bandits and rescued his daughter? Yeah, yeah. He was like, I know I'm a detective in San Francisco that has obsessive compulsive disorder. Yeah. But you know what? what? We should make California safe again. And they did. And they became the new California Republic. And he was so successful that his daughter was elected to leave. And she served until she was like 80. She was like president, Presidente for LIFO. You know, I, I'm impressed. You did Fallout 2 in 10 minutes. Well, it, there's a it's lot of side lot, quests. Yeah. And like, it seems pretty cut and dry, yeah. Yeah, Fallout 1 was all main story. Like, right. five side quests, main story. Okay, so uh, Fallout 3. Last all right, well, one. no, no. There's a, there's a segue. So oh. this isn't canon. It's kind of canon, but not really canon. They don't really talk about it. Okay. It's Fallout Tactics. Oh. So Fallout Tactics is about the Brotherhood of Steel in Chicago area, Midwest. Okay. Right? And at this point, you're known as the warrior. You're a tribal person who who ended up being the warrior, right? Okay. The road warrior? Yeah, that might be the reference. Okay. Okay, so you're the warrior. Yeah. And you're like, I'm strong. And you could you could actually choose your race in that. You could be like a ghoul. You could be like, yeah. it was a real time strategy game as opposed to the other ones. Yeah. Anyway, so you're joining the Brotherhood of Steel as a, as an initiate, and robots are attacking. And it yeah. turns out that there's this giant fucking monster. Yeah. Or it's not a monster. It's a giant computer called the Calculator. Yeah. And they're like, you want peace? You gotta like merge with me. And you're like, really? <laughs> and you're like, yeah. You you, you know your brain. Hannibal Lecter style. I kind of want that. And you're like, you know, if you get my brain, I'm taking over. And you're like, no, uh. And you did, and you took over. And then you're like, Brotherhood of Steel. I'm a fucking computer. Guess who gets a better fucking base? And they're like, holla. And you're like, zero one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero zero zero, which may or may not be. You should not just speak binary. You could be cursing the audience right now. We would have no. You shouldn't just. Uh, disclaimer: If I am cursing at you, you in binary, Kitty in the Gray Fox, aka representative of the Fierce Ferret Foundry, apologizes and wishes you a happy, merry wasteland apocalypse. Okay. So, what is the importance of him becoming a computer? It it strongholded the the Brotherhood of Steel gaining foothold in the Midwest. Oh, okay. So you know that they're just popular over there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Which I guess is important for four, because Boston? Actually, it's important for three. Oh, okay. So, okay, so in, in, in between two and three and one and two and one and three, yeah. there was a group of Brotherhood of Steel who were like, you know what? Because the Brotherhood of Steel started in California. Yeah. They were remnants of the old school Air Force and military who were like, Fuck this. Like, this can't be all there is, right? Yeah. And they're and everybody's like, yeah. Like, fuck this. And then they're like, in power armor, be like, <clears throat> like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like, just gaying it up. Like, I say gay in a positive way. Like, they're just like, okay. yeah. Pride. Because you know a lot so of So, like, the white... Uh, heat of bro friendship, right? The white heat of bro ship, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so... What was this? Oh, yeah. So, eventually, a bunch of them were like, we should, like, reclaim the the rest of the country. And then one of them slides his keyboard mm -hmm. in front of them. Why slams his wait. hands on the, on the table like... Why do they have a That's a brilliant fucking idea. Jensen, here are my keys. Go home and fuck my wife. Okay, you were saying. Please don't tell people to do that. This is why you can't host all the. Uh, I can't host no, all the yeah, time with you. Is, yeah. All right, so they eventually go to the Midwest, and that's the events of Fallout Tactics. But other people went further out to east, to the capital wasteland, which is Washington D.C. Okay. And that was the Brotherhood of Steel led by Elder Lions. And okay. during his way, they had a lot of different troubles, like with mm -hmm. slavers, mm -hmm. uh, mutants, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And they ended up making their base in the Pentagon. And we're about to get into that with Fallout 3. Woo so Fallout 3, we're going to talk about, uh, again, like, we can talk a lot about Fallout and the side quests. We're going to, yeah. like, Fallout was the, the apex of what started everything. Right, right, right. So in Fallout 3, you play as a character known as the Lone Wanderer. And it starts off with your birth. Because I know Backclam loves games that talk about births. 
where you're like, yeah, no, yeah. scream, I love wait, scream wait, 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 giving birth. Yeah. And guess who your dad is? We said it at the beginning the of the stream. The taken guy. Seriously? Liam Nelson. <laughs> Nelson? I'm close, no. Liam Nelson sounds like the American knockoff of Liam Neeson. Wait, I'm ashamed. American? No, he's oh. European. That's Actually, cool. time to Google. Actually, that's probably better for him. What What is Liam Neeson? <laughs> no. He's Irish. Oh, okay. So, if all three... Uh, okay, so Liam you start Neeson off, and, and your mom dies. Aw, of course she does. Childbirth, complications. All the time, all the time. Right, all and time. you're like... My you, brain. You, you grow up in a vault, Vault 101, where you're yeah. never allowed to leave. You live in the vault, you die in the vault. That's literally the vault slogan. It's on their sports journey jerseys. Are you serious? Well, I'm not serious about it being on their jerseys, but that's oh. the fucking motto. That's the fucking motto. Google it. Okay. Vault 101. We li- wait, wait, wait. I'm going to just type. Vault 101. We live in the vault. And we die in the vault. See, first one that comes up. Wow, okay. Um... So Vault 101 social experiment. Was that they would never be able to allow, uh, be allowed to leave the vault? You did it. You didn't call it Vault Thirteen. Cause no you longer. finally did it. Okay, sorry. Keep going. So you're born. Then what? Well, then you live. Okay, and then you can't leave the vault. Like what happens? Because I assume you leave the vault at some point. Does well, the vault you'd, you'd be up? right. You do. Yeah. Your dad one day is like, I gotta fix all the mistakes I ever did in life, and he leaves. Okay. And you're not, everybody was led to believe that you couldn't leave. So your best friend, Amara, or Amanda, yeah. or Momanda. Her name I, doesn't matter. But she's Unless your best she friend. Got, she's the she daughter of the vault. Does she come with you? Because it doesn't she's matter. She's the vault overseer's daughter. Okay. And, you know, she's like, you gotta leave. You gotta leave. Your dad figured out a way to leave. And you're like, I just Why woke is up. What fault? is going on? Yeah, because they were going to hurt you. Why? Because you're not supposed to leave the vault. The overseer is really You specific. didn't. You didn't. But your dad did. And so, you know, by the archaic Can't punishment. Can't just be like, oh, he died. Can we see his body? No, he died. No, he, because everybody saw he everybody fell. saw that he left. Oh. How did he get out? How did no one stop him? Right? Well, it's Liam Neeson. Have you seen Taken? I mean, I did see Taken. So tell me, you're going to stop Liam Neeson? I guess I'm not going to stop Liam. You also got to stop John Wick? Okay, so your dad leaves. And yeah, and everyone blames you for some everyone reason. Everyone does blame you. It's kind of... Right, but and you're like, know. and you you just kind of channel your inner Christopher Zabat, and you're like, I will be the symbol of peace and justice in the wasteland, <laughs> and you escape, yeah. and the vault overseer I think dies from you or something else. He's an asshole. I mean, he does sound like a dick. He dies. No, no, you don't have to kill him, but you can. Okay. Like you could be like, dude, is, it's not my fault. I'm leaving. Is it? And he's like, fine, get out. Well, I mean, I. Should you kill him? Your friend will probably not like you. For that. Right? Your friend would that probably seems... be pissed if you killed her dad. Right. Anyway, so, so you, you leave. leave. And yeah. remember at the beginning of this podcast when I talked about like that beautiful moment when you leave the wasteland? Right. It really translated perfectly into the Fallout 3 that was done by Bethesda. Right? Because you, you got to see the world. So you okay. start off by going to a place called Megaton. Yeah. Megaton is a city created around a deactive nuke. And, oh. yeah, no, that's not a smart idea, Wait, by the way. I think I remember the scientist lady, right? Because I... Yeah, she's later on in Rivet City. No, there was a scientist with the Nuke City. Yeah, yeah, that's not a scientist. She was a shopkeep who wanted to create the Wasteland Survival Guide, right? That's what you're thinking remember. of? Maybe. I just remember Moira? she asked you to do a bunch of research stuff. Yeah, like get irradiated. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought she was a scientist. No, she's not. She's a. Oh. She's literally a merchant who's like, I want to write a book. Can you help me? And then you're like, all right. And that's why you go to the Super Duper Mark, because you're seeing about scavenging. Okay. So you help her write the book and do a bunch of things. Okay. Anyway, so you go to Megaton. Yeah. And that's where you meet Gob, the, the guy that I talked about earlier. Yay! Yeah. And Colin Moriarty, who's named after an asshole from IGN. Oh, no. Moriarty is... Yeah, no, not the Sherlock villain. Oh. Colin Moriarty was named after an IGN uh, journalist who Bethesda hated. Because they made the character in game such a piece of shit that everybody wanted to kill him. Because in reality, and if more Colin Moriarty, if you're hearing this, you know it's true. Everyone doesn't like you. I got. I mean, don't talk about it now, but I'm gonna have to look up what this guy did. He's a pretentious jackass. Oh, okay. 
Just like the character in game. So they didn't really take oh, okay. a lot of effort to so, change him. So you, you stopped this guy, I assume, right? No, he just, he just kind of is like, I knew your daddy. I met him on his way to that vault. And you're like, but I was born in the vault. And he's like, fuck you, you're dumb. You weren't. And you're like, this what? is why no one likes you Wait, at IGN. You weren't born in the vault? Surprise, you weren't born in the fucking vault. Your dad actually was not born in the vault either. He came from another place, but you don't know that until further on in the game. But we're going to get to that. Wait, but I remember being in a nice room when you were... Okay. Okay. Rude. Okay. So eventually you find out this information, you do some odds and ends, and you go into the Capital Wasteland, and guess what you find? What? Super Mutants. Really? Yeah. They didn't stop being a thing? No, because apparently some place on the East Coast also dipped into FAV. I thought it was FEV. What did I say? FAV. For fav. It's it? fev, not fav. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> so, they, they dipped into fev. Okay. Right? Sounds like and then thing. guess who else is fighting them? The Brotherhood of Steel. Yay! They're fighting them at Galaxy News Radio. With your boy, Three Dog. Okay, I remember Three Dog. He who couldn't fun. remember Three Dog? Like, I wanted him to be in four so badly. Who's in four? What? Travis. Travis is in four. And Mr. Vegas is in three, cause, uh, or New Vegas. Because okay. uh, three was the start of all the radios, which okay. everybody agrees. The radios are great for the first three hours, and then you're like, Lordy, if I have to hear this song okay. one more time, I'm a kill bitch. Okay, so you, you got your radio, you got your, your thing. Um... <laughs> So you go, you, I don't remember the prompt on why you go back to Galaxy News Radio. Probably because you think, no, that's right. He talked about talking to James, your dad. And you're like, my dad? Oh. My, my daddy. <laughs> Wait, he just broadcast that? Yeah, because he was talking to James about about a project that was really important. And you're like, my daddy. <laughs> I miss my Liam Neeson daddy. And everybody's like, pat, pat, pat. Pat, Liam Neeson, Pat, Daddy. Pat. Okay. So you go to Galaxy News Radio, and there's a super mutant behemoth, and you're like, if you thought a super mutant was big, yeah. Now imagine five of them fucking did a fusion dance Ginyu Force style. Oh, we're back to the Ginyu Force. Like it, it it's so big it uses a fucking like telephone line okay. with a fucking hydrant on okay. the end as a fucking base. Okay. Yeah, it's big. So you grab a fat man, and fat man is literally like a portable nuke launcher, and you're just like, <laughs> and you just drop Wait, it like I'm the sorry. mic, and then you realize, oh shit, they had nuclear warheads in it! Oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck! And every pallet in the steel was like, just like their testicles all just silently like just went. Oh, upwards. Upwards, yeah. Like the That's fallopian tubes. Like... Oh, like, the, like the eggs in the floor, okay. So, I had a question, but yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the testicle thing really, like, threw me off. <laughs> okay, so when you're nervous, like, really nervous, everything, like, kind of, like, gets cold down there, uh -huh. and it just kind of, like, shrinks into, okay. like, a safe safety pocket. Okay. Your pocket balls. It's like Pokemon, okay. only with your testicles. Okay. And that's not a thing at all. Okay. And I'm sorry. So... You, you blow this place to all hell because there were nukes mm -mm. there. Mm -mm. No. Because for some reason, a portable nuke only has like a 15-foot like a radius somehow. I mean, can we well, already talk about uh, how mechanics. it's a, Well, it's already a portable nuke, so let's discuss, you know, like, I'm not that surprised it's a short range. I don't think they pushed a lot of money into well, that. Well, you, you kill that motherfucker, right. and then, you know, you talk to Three Dog, and he's like, hey, so unless you're super charismatic, you can't skip this. He's like, hey, man, I'd love to tell you about your dad, but, like, my radio broadcast is really fucked up. I need a new, a new satellite dish. Oh, and you're okay. like, my dad. And you're like, and he's like, puts his hand on your shoulder, and he's like, woo, I'm three dog, and I need to be able to broadcast to the Capital Wasteland. So, I understand you need to talk about your daddy, but guess what? Three dog needs a new satellite dish. So go to the Museum of History and find me one, please. And you're like, my dad, he's like, I don't, I, I need this, brah. 
And if you have a really high speech skill from, yeah. like, doing any other side quest, you can skip it. But we're going to pretend that you didn't. And we're going to move on. So you go to the Museum okay. of Capital History, and guess yeah. what are there? Come on. Um, the... I don't know why a radio antenna would be there, but... Oh, Super Mutants! You're not talking Boom. about... Boom! There okay. we go. Yeah, apparently <laughs> Super Mutants end. had shot down the previous one, so they need to do satellite dish. So you go to the, um... The Museum of History or something. Yeah. Wait... Wow, well, you just had a library. Name, right? Wait, we were just at the library and there was no. Superman's. You were at a radio station. No, you said we went to the library and then I'm like, oh, is the radio station stuff there? And then you were like, no. did I say library? Yes, you said the library. I'm pretty sure, because I was confused as to why an antenna would. Be Actually, there. you went to a mall plaza where the museum was. Oh, okay. <laughs> also, super mutants. So you go there. Yeah, they're super mutants. That part I got. All right, yeah. you go there and I'm drinking more. Well, yes. Oh, wow, that's hitting me really hard, because well, my then, stomach is pretty empty. Well, so drink... There was only a little pie, Bad. It's not like a real pie. This was like a, a slice of pie okay. that was half We're still talking about for pie. You. Okay. Okay. So, the, okay, what is that big penis statue in Washington? The thing that everybody's what? like, look at Washington's dick! Wait, what? <laughs> what? It's not no actually, a, it's not in the shape of a penis, but it, it symbolizes America's penis. The, the Washington, Washington Monument? Monument? Yeah. Okay, first off, don't say big penis statue, because that is false. That's completely Washington false. Washington no, Google... penis statue. First thing I get, Washington Monument. Okay. And an article about phallic architecture. Okay. It's an obelisk, but... We're going to keep going. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you you go into this museum, you kill a bunch of super moons, and you get this this radar dish and you kind of like just hug it a little bit and you're like, you're going to bring so much joy to the, the wasteland with three dogs winning personality. Woo! And Wait, then, so... and then the wash, and then the dish looks at you with anime eyes and you're like, holy fuck, am I taking too many chems? And the truth was, you were, because you were really low level, and you shouldn't have been fucking fighting those super mutants. But you took a bunch of psycho, and you were like, woo, 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 kill! <laughs> and then you took some jet, and you were like, oh! Okay. The fair spirits do not advocate taking drugs. We have not done that ourselves either. This is only, not... only in Fallout. This has been a disclaimer for the fierce spirits. Anyway. Okay, 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 so okay. So the drugs okay. got us through Okay, so you got, you got the satellite dish, and you go yeah. up to the Washington Penis Monument. <laughs> okay. And you're like, man, this is a, a stiff ride up here to the top. And you, you put the satellite up yeah. there like a condom, and you're just like... <coughs> and then you it's turn on really your like pip boy. Oh, shit. Entire... I haven't talked about pip boys this entire time. A pip boy is a personalized uh, information processor. I think that's the anagram. For it. Okay. It's a personal computer you wear on your wrist. Because they didn't have transistors, so they couldn't have a smartphone. So you wear this giant computer on your wrist. I mean, it's still surprising they packed it into that size. Well, the, the prototype for it was, like, literally the size of you, Bat. Which is not that big, yeah. but not that small. Dun, dun, so you went dun. to Three Dog and he told you to go to Rivet City. And you go to Rivet City, and you meet a woman named Dr. Lee. And guess who Dr. Lee is? The woman who helped deliver you. Because oh, you okay. were actually born in Rivet City. That's why they had shitty medical equipment and your mom, Catherine, died. Oh. Fun fact, your mom was black. Aw. Yeah, no matter what, your mom was black. And your dad was That's white. That's a nice, like... Well, I guess your mom could be anything, because you could also be Asian. But basically, your mom was the, the catalyst. That's why they never show her. So if you wanted to be, like, someone of color, yeah. your mom was automatically assumed to be. Sort of like how in Mass Effect Andromeda, you don't see your you you see your parents, and depending yeah. on how you are, yeah. it changes how your sister, or you and your sister are, it changes how your parents look. So if you're black or Asian or Hispanic in Andromeda, your parents reflect that. That's really cool. Yeah. It really is, yeah. But but it canonically, out... it's implied that she was a black woman. Yeah. All right. So you find out about this something called Project Purity, right? 
Wait, Project? where do you find this out? You just Rivet City. Re- when you talk okay. to me, because right. your father just came in there and he's like, "We got to restart Project Purity." It's just like, oh, James. so you found your dad? Yeah. No. Oh not yet. no, this is a flashback. He, yeah, no, no. He okay. talked to Doctor Lee, and okay. Doctor Lee was like, "James, I haven't seen you in like eighteen fucking years, and you're talking about starting up a project." And he's like, "Science," mm-hmm. and he Liam Neeson out of there. Okay. Which he uh, describes you, an action now. Liam Neeson is a verb. So he's at the some sort of like museum where yeah. Washington is a statue or something. I don't, know, I don't remember. And he go you go there and guess what there are? Super mutants. That's the answer. You don't to this. say. Okay. Um so you go there and you you meet your dad yeah. and depending on how much you did in the wasteland like if yeah. you're a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah. He actually's like I heard you saved Megaton and disarmed yeah. their bomb. That's awesome. Or if you blew it up for another asshole who was like, it's unsightly. Can you just blow up that town with a nuke? Also, make sure to hand me the controller. I want to do it. Oh and masturbate God. while doing so, because I'm a ah. fucking sick bastard. Who is this? Uh, Tenpenny from Tenpenny Tower. Like I don't remember dead. his can, first name. Can you kill him? <laughs> yeah, you can. Sweet. Yeah, because he's also not letting ghouls in. But if you're letting ghouls, so they racist. kill all the humans. Yeah, no, he's totally racist. Okay, continue. Yeah, it sucks. Wait, did you say if you let ghouls in, they kill the humans? Yeah, and I was okay Aww. with them killing all but one. Okay. One human actually was okay with 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 ghouls. He he actually was like, I had a ghoul buddy. He was my yeah. best friend. He was my manservant, but he was actually my my best friend. Like he Argyle, Dick Daring, and Argyle. You, you can hear their, their radio show. That was my only problem. Like, they, the ghouls killed him, and I was like, come on, man. He was he, was, he was he didn't deserve that. Well, he was, did Argyle get mad at that? Argyle's been dead for years. Aww. Yeah. He he really missed Argyle. They died um, trying to stop the slavers of Paradise Falls from enslaving the entire They're cell. They're slavers? A, can you kill them? Okay, so when I talked about in early in the game how yeah. in Fallout you could be a real big asshole, yeah. you could be a slaver. Ew. You could enslave children. That's how bad you could be. You could nuke a city and enslave okay. children. If they remove stuff like that from Fallout games, I kind of get it, though. That's No, no, but I don't because here's the thing. Having the option makes it more powerful of a choice when you choose not to do it, in my opinion. I guess that's true. Because when I did it, I went up to the leader of Paradise Falls and I was like, Hey, Eulogy Jones. What's his name? Eulogy Jones. Wow. Yeah. It yeah. No, it's gone. It, okay. It's one of those sneezes. Well, yeah, no, like, I met psych. him and I was like, hey, you want us to enslave children? Boom! Boom! Yeah. Boom! No sniper shot. This was not a quiet kill. This was me up in his face being like... Yeah. Fuck that, you, you piece of shit! Those are whacking it noises. <laughs> no, I, I totally took a bat and just beat the shit out of that That's ass. not the motion or sound you made. Oh, I didn't jerk off Eulogy Jones. Uh, if you, in case you haven't noticed, this podcast is not safe for work. Well, unless you have earbuds, then anything's safe for work. I really hope by this point that, yeah, they've put in earbuds if they hadn't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I tangented us on the slavers. Um, yeah, okay, okay so, so yeah, no, content. you could do a lot of fucked up. So, depending on your reputation, your dad yeah. is like, you're a real hero of the wasteland. Yeah. Liam Neeson, dad, is proud of you. And you're like, Liam Neeson, Dad. That's all I ever wanted. Wait, no, you didn't even find him there. Shit, I totally spaced out. You didn't find him at that monument. You find his notes, and then you find out that he was looking oh, okay. for a GAC because a GAC is the way to get the Project Purity going. So you go oh, so to we're a back vault. To the GACs again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you go to a vault, and it turns out this asshole, Doctor Strom, who made the GAC, is like, I'm gonna simulate that I am a little girl. And I'm going to be in a 1950s black and white scenario where if I get bored, I just kill all the occupants in here. Also, I'm going to make your dad into a dog and it's going to be super bork. And you're like, could you... Do him and dog me have a play date? Yeah, you basically foil his plans by killing all the companions and freeing them. They, They die in real life, but it's better than living in this computer simulation where they're at this sadistic fucker's whim and you trap him so in sad, the in the though. scenario yeah. by himself there was no way to get everyone out you can only yeah. kill all of them 
or let him just continuously torture them. So you kill all of them, they can't get out, and you free your dad, and you look at Dr. Strom, and you're like, got you good, fucker. And he's like, as a little girl, but with a man's voice, you are a son of a bitch! Just like that. Yeah, and he was like, I may be a son of a bitch, but I'm not going to die alone in a computer simulation. Peace out. Helmet off. <laughs> and that should be the plot to play Ready Player One, but it's not. Looking at you, Steven Spielberg. So, okay, so now So you that's when you meet dad? your dad, and then your dad is like, I'm really proud so of wait, you. wait, 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 time out. How come you can free your dad, but not everyone else? Because your dad wasn't originally part of the simulation. Oh, so he wasn't there from the Only beginning? Only the people who were originally part of the simulation. It was a vault where everybody was supposed to live in VR. Huh. Didn't they realize after how many hundred years this has been going on that yeah, something right? was up? <laughs> it's like super gross. Because it's been how many years? At this point, over a hundred. Like, alright. Anyway. Yeah. It's like 150. Yeah, yeah I, I, I think I would have noticed something was up. But, uh, now we are reunited with your dad who is not a dog. Yeah, and you got the gack, I think. Did you get the gek? No, they didn't know. have a gek. He didn't have a gek. Because okay. they were supposed to live in VR, so why yeah. would they have a gek? Right. So you talk to the Brotherhood of... Oh, wait. You try and talk to your dad, and he's uh -huh. like, Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Yeah. We were so close, and I love you, son. I'm proud of you. And then guess who shows up? Who? Oh. Super Mutants? Fucking wrong. Get oh. your shit together. It's, it's always been Super Mutants! It's the Enclave! Oh, no. How? How does Backclam ask? Well, you see, I didn't ask after that. the fact of uh, them getting destroyed, air quotes, in two, a lot of them went over to the East Coast to try and rec uh, recuperate. Mm -hmm. And they were led by President John Henry Eden. Okay. Right? Yeah. To save the capital wasteland. Mm. The Enclave attacks, they kill your dad. What? And, yeah. Liam Neeson died. Weird, right? Anyway. So... You know, this would go by quicker. Thank you for not asking hmm. questions. You escape with Dr. Lee. I'm supposed Lee. to be asking questions. You right? escape with Dr. Lee, the the biffle to your dad, who yeah. was also in love with your dad, but he loved Catherine, your mom. Okay. She kind of resents you for yeah. it. She's like, she's like, fuck you, Catherine. Wait, who hated your mom? Dr. The Lee. Assistant? She loved your dad. Oh, was Wait, was she betraying? She, she, she called the Enclave on you? Is that what you just told me? No. Oh. They saw the idea of Project Purity, you find yeah. out, was the idea of basically converting this monument into yeah. a giant water purification system to make the water in the entire basin pure That's and amazing. no longer irradiated. Being able to give everybody free, drinkable water in the wasteland. Your dad sounds like the tits. He's Liam Neeson, so you're not wrong. Anyway, so they kill him. Actually, no. They don't kill him. They try and get him to turn on the device and work for him. And you know what he does? What? He turns on the device and floods the area with radiation, tells you to run, tells you he loves you and how he's proud of you, and sacrifices himself to stop the Enclave. Yo, mother cry. I know. Liam Neeson, man. Wait, so how does Up Lee... Up in Liam Neeson heaven. Wait, how, do, how does Lee... Dr. Lee's hate for You your escape mom through the sewer grates. No, that's fine, but how does Dr. Lee's hate for your mom factor in here? She just resented her... Because, no, I mean, did she betray you because no, of it? No, no, no. Okay. no, she never All betrayed right. you. Just In fact, sure. she's the one who leads you to the Brotherhood Steel at the Pentagon. That's where they oh. set up. Let me get so to So it's the, just like background. So the, the General Augustus uh -huh. from the, the Enclave, mm -hmm. he's like the second in command to John Henry Eden. Mm -hmm. Right as James does the flip switch and dies tragically, he injects himself with like a whole bunch of rad X and he's like, I'm going to live through this and fuck your son up. And, and James is like, no. I, God damn it, I lost my hair now. Oh, and I'm dead. Just and like that. Just like that, okay. yeah. But actually, it's really funny because people wondered, like, how do you do it? You actually see the motion of him do the injection oh, thing. Oh, you do? Yeah. Wow. So that is a little Easter egg if you're, if you're wondering. That's crazy. Um, okay, so you end up going to the Pentagon. Yeah. And they're like, we're the Brotherhood of Steel. Can you, like, leave? And Dr. Lee is like, Elder Lion. You know about Project Purity. She's like doing the finger oh, rag at yeah. the intercom. Okay. And she's like, if you don't fucking open this door right now, I'm going to come up there and shove my boot up your powered armored ass. And he's like, Dr. Lee, is that you? And she's like, you know damn well it's me, Elder Lion. 
He's like, okay, I'm sorry the guards gave you a little bit of shit, but I, we, we cool, right? He's like, I will beat up an old man if you don't let me in in the next 20 seconds. And he's like, literally? And so you make, you make friends with the, the brotherhood, right? Yeah. And you make friends with actually the woman who, who escorted your dad to the vault. Aww. Your dad entered the vault, you find out, because he was a doctor, and their doctor died, so they needed a vault. So all the adults just pretended that he was always there, and the kids never knew any better. How much for that, you know, live in the vault, die in the vault thing, right? Yeah, how fucked up is that? They're all liars. Eventually, you get called back to the vault for a side quest because everybody wants to leave the vault also, and explore. Let me finish. And you, you can determine to, like, make the vault accessible mm -hmm. or break the vault and force everybody out. If Obviously, if you force everybody out, they all die tragically. But if you let them out, if you let them stay in the vault, they make it like a kind of like a new city. Mm -hmm. But you're not allowed back because a lot of people resent you. Yeah, how fucked up is that? But oh, your friend becomes say, the overseer regardless. Can I just say before I forget? Yeah. Which I actually think I might have just literally forgotten. And I'm mad because it was something I really wanted to bring up. You have to let me bring up points when I have them, Kitty. Oh, okay, I remembered. Okay. The vault is like a hundred some odd years old, right? Yeah. Why did they only have one doctor? Shouldn't he have been, co like, shouldn't there have constantly been a line of doctors training other doctors? Okay, so you think this is fucked up? So in yeah. the beginning, your dad had an assistant named Jonas who was awesome, right? Uh -huh. He was just like, Hey, buddy, you're great. I love you. You're your doctor. You're your dad's son, and we're gonna make sure you're taken care of. Pat, pat, pat. Yeah, the guards killed him because he wouldn't give up your dad. They, so they killed, killed the, the only other, other doctor. doctor. Yeah. Because reasons. Rip Jonas. We won't forget. Anyway, um. Did he have brothers? Nope. Every the only yeah. How fucking stupid are they? And the one guy who called. wanted to leave the vault more than anything was your childhood bully because the vault test told him he was supposed yeah. to be a bar, uh, a, a hairstylist. And he's like, that's not what I want to do. I want to be a barber. And you're just <laughs> like, butch, you're fucking dumb. It's the same thing. Mm. And he's like, no, gender roles matter. And you're like, do they? Do they? Well, I'm just saying barbers would do surgery, right? Like historically speaking. I'm just saying, like... <laughs> I guess you got me there, Bat! Anyway, so we're back on to them getting the... So your the... dad's dead. You're at the Brotherhood yeah. of Steel. So I guess you talk to him about the... They're like, the Project Purity never would have worked. And they were like, because they needed a Gek. Yeah. And we got information yeah. from that one vault. There's mm -hmm. a Gek in this one vault. But that okay. vault is irradiated. No one's going to be able to get in there. And he's like, I know how to get in there. There's a cave that I might be able to backtrack. Mm -hmm. And they're like, all right, you solved this problem. And then you're like, wait, can I have some backup? And they're like, no. And you're like, can I have some medicine? And they're like, no. <clears throat> can I pay you for the medicine? Yeah. Well, that doesn't seem fair at all. Yeah, too, bef too fucking bad. And so you go there, and you go to Little Lamplight. Little Lamplight is a town. nice. Uh, <clears throat> you say that, but you have to deal uh -oh. with Mayor McCready. McCree, you say? McCready. I know. Yeah. <laughs> mayor McCready is a 12-year-old mayor of a town full of children. They leave and join Big Town. Side quest. You go to Big Town. It's being attacked by super mutants. Wait, so you can save all the adults. Wait, what happens to Little Lamplight. Only, it's like Children of the Corn. No. They only let you stay for a certain amount. And then you have to migrate to Big Town. Um, only kids are allowed there. Which is weird. Because how do they breed? More children. Well, I guess Big Town sends the children to Little Lamplight? I guess. Okay, so the, re the reason it exists is there was a teacher. Originally, Little Lamplight was a school field trip, and that's when the bombs hit, so they survived by staying in the caves. And the teacher eventually died, and the kids were like, shit. What the fuck do we do? And then one of the kids was like, I guess we live here and eat moss now. And the rest of the kids were like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story of Little Limplay. Okay. Anyway, so you go to McCready, and this fucker is just such an asshole. Yeah. And you, you like, you're like, hey, I need to, like, go through your caves to see if I can get into a vault. And he's like, fuck you. That's not a quote. That's not a, the, that's not a paraphrase. That's a fucking oh, quote. So he curses. He insults you. Okay. He's such a piece of shit. Right. You have to do him some favors and shit like that. And you do... And then eventually you get to go through the caves and you get to this vault. I forget the vault. Mm -hmm. So we're going to call it Plot Device Vault. 
where the FEV virus was stored. Yeah. And you meet a super mutant there named Fox, after Guy Fox. Aww. They named themselves Fox. Mm-hmm. They're, I believe they were a woman. They they gained sentience from being trapped in a room for like a mm-hmm. hundred years. Mm-hmm. And they didn't go crazy. They were dumb at first, but they educated themselves over a hundred years because they were bored. Wow. Yeah. And they're like poetic and shit. Mm-hmm. And they offer to get you the Gek because it's through an irradiated zone. When okay. they get you the Gek and everything, yeah. the Enclave come in and steal it and kidnap you. Okay. Right? Okay. And then you, you go to a place called Raven Rock, I think yeah. it's called. And you meet Henry, John, John Henry Eden. Okay. And are you ready for this reveal? Yeah. It's a fucking AI computer. Malcolm McDowell is a fucking computer. And he's like, got you, man. Didn't you think I was a human in all those films? He's the president, right? Yeah, of the Enclave. And Augustus... Because the president was killed in... He was elected to succeed him. To succeed the last president. And Mm. no one knew he was a robot? A robot? They all knew he was a robot. They just kind of, like, dealt with it. Okay. I mean, could a robot do worse? Than any human. Yes. You're right. They Look could. at the the boss in the first game. Uh, they can make us all super mutants who are sterile. <laughs> That's a fair fucking point. <gasps> Never thought of that. Anyway. So, okay. So, you meet Henry Eden. And he wants you to fix this purifier thing. Mm-hmm. But he wants you to put concentrated forced evolutionary virus in it. To make everyone who isn't pure mm-hmm. die. So, like, the an, thing I just, I literally just He said wants you to do doing. an ethnic cleansing. So, time out. On the filth of the You wasteland. just said, can a robot do worse? Knowing this information you were about to tell me. Okay, to be <laughs> fair, I just remembered the information I was about to tell you. And, okay. yes, he could. So, both robots in this game did the same exact to thing. To be fair, the master was a, so mu- was a mutant me, fused with the robotics. But he was... T- what I'm learning is robots, aside from your wonderful butler, are evil. <laughs> Please continue. Actually, yes. The robot butler makes really bad jokes like this. Have you heard of this one? Did you hear Did you hear about what the clown cannibal said to the other clown? No, no. Did the cannibal said to the other uh, cannibal while they were eating a clown? What? Does this taste funny to you? Anyway. That was a Go literal on. joke that Wadsworth would tell Go on you. with the, the, the robot president. Okay, okay, okay. So he, he's, like, doing that, and Augustus, the guy mm-hmm. who survived your dad's, like... <sighs> what is the word I'm thinking of? I don't know. You just made a horse noise. I have no idea what's your happening. Your dad's horse noise. What? You're, you're faint. His, your dad's faint. Your dad was like, oh, I'll work for you, pulls lever to kill everyone. That's right, fam. Wait, so you, you just did that? Get... No, that's what your dad did to Augustus. No, and yes. he some, so, somehow survived, and you're like, didn't my dad oh, kill God. you? And he yeah. was like, fuck you. And so you you escape, he gives you this virus to put in, and if you're a good fucking person, you're like, throws out. Right. Buries under. But guess who busts you out of that shit? Well, who? Fox. With a fucking Gatling laser. Comes in there like, daka 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 and then they recite poetry at you and like, you actually treated me like a human being and I respect that. Can I be your buddy? And then you're like, why would I want anyone else? They have a fucking Gatling laser. So it's you and Fox yeah. just going like, yeah, with with dog meat at your home because you don't want that puppy to die unless you get that puppy's perk. Okay, okay, okay. okay I... So. Okay. So then you, you get the... You get the geck from yeah. that thing, right? And you give it to the Brotherhood of Steel. And they're yeah. like, okay, the Enclave is, is here. Yeah. Right? But we got a plan. They're at, they're at the, the, the purification unit that we need the geck to install in, right? Yeah. And then you go, what's the plan? And he's like, okay, so we found this old pre-war military gear. Are you ready for this? Okay. And then you're like, yeah, what is it? It's a giant fucking robot. Oh, God, so we're just Prime. getting more robots involved. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Name Liberty Prime. And you're like, why is it named Liberty Prime? Because family hates communism. And he's like, yeah, his some of his slogans, he throws nukes like footballs and, okay. and optic lasers. And he's like, okay. better dead than red. 
communism will not be suffered on American soil. So you fight alongside Liberty Prime on this long trek to the Washington Memorial Museum monument where this device yeah. is. Yeah. Right? And you do, and Liberty Prime sways it in your favor because the, the Enclave has the best technology Yeah. that even they make the Brotherhood scared. But when Liberty Prime throwing baseball or football nukes at them, they're kind of like, shit! And, you know, they, they're like, oh, oh God, Michael's dead! He had two days to retirement! Fuck! And then, and then, and then, you know, William is like, I actually was going to run away with Michael. We were going to go start a little settlement down in uh, Georgia. And uh, I know our love was not was frowned upon by the Enclave because they're a bunch of intolerant bitches, but we thought we could make it work. <laughs> Michael, I'm sorry. I can't. And then he just kind of gets nuked himself. And then, you know, like, that's the end of their, their budding romance. Okay. Yeah, it's sad. It's real sad. Okay. Uh, but anyway, you get to the purification thing and... You can either talk Augustus out and be like, you dumb fucker. Like, you really think you're going to win this? I got super mutants and a fucking robot on my, my side. And, and cool paladin chick who's the daughter of the Brotherhood. And he's like, shit. You're right, what do I got? I got two dumb fucks who were, like, in and love with FEB each other. virus or whatever, right? You know, like, why don't I just recoup my losses? And then you're like, yeah, why don't you recoup your losses? Because you know I'm just going to come back and kill y'all, right? He's like, you know, you say that now. Maybe I should fight you. And he's like, bring it. And then he's like, oh, fuck. He's really intense. I gotta, like, not bring it. I gotta do the opposite of bring it. I gotta, like, I gotta don't bring it. What's the what's the opposite of bring? I'm gonna Google this right now. You're, you're gonna Google it? Opposite of bring. Okay, okay. Bring... Cinnamon. Wait, why cinnamon? You mean synonym? Because you said cinnamon. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I got he instead <gasps> of like I gotta bring it. I got I gotta avoid this. That's the word I was thinking of. Bad is, avoid. You know, I'm sober and I didn't even I had no idea what word you needed. I was like opposite of right, bring? right. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So. <laughs> so are we at the final fight yet? Yes. Oh great. So Perfect. you you go Is to Is there him. really a final fight if you have a giant robot? Well, okay, no. Okay, so you can you can fight Augustus or you uh -huh. can talk him down. That's the cool thing about Fallout is you can be right, so like, charismatic you're right. like, Do you really wanna fucking fight me or do you wanna right. suck my dick? And they're like, You know your charisma's kinda palpable. I kinda wanna suck your dick. So okay. So yeah you beat him and you Which, beat him, yeah. and you sacrifice yourself. Why? Or wait, you can have wait. Fox... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah. What you... do you need to sacrifice yourself for? The chamber was flooded with your, your dad's radiation trick. There's only one way to get the the Gek in there. And if you have Fox, you could send them in there, but it still makes you out like a little bitch in the ending. Why? Or you could send Elder Lion's daughter, it... Sarah, in there to do it, and then the ending is like... Basically, Ron Perlman Wait, calls you a Fox bitch. Why is Fox a ghoul? Why is he? Oh, super mutant. They're immune to radiation. Super... My point is, yeah. Why is it a bitch move to send him in? That's smart and tactical. Because you got to be the hero and sacrifice yourself. That's some bullshit. Oh my god, synonym wasn't the word we were looking for. It was antonym. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dumbass. It, well, you said cinnamon, so you didn't even say any word. <laughs> I like cinnamon. Okay. Wow. So that's. But, okay, so basically, let's work on the assumption that you're the, her the heroic person right. and you sacrifice yourself. Right. You wake up two weeks later. Well, Originally, really? you died, and then the game ended. Right. But then people got mad. Obviously. And I then they, they, they fixed it in a DLC. Oh, okay. Which we're going to talk about, the DLCs, real quick. How do we need to? Yes. You, you did it. Like, what what's left? The DLC for the pit is you go to Pittsburgh, where there's uh -huh. a bunch of slavery... Okay. And you stop the slavery by kidnapping a baby. Ha, ha, what? I thought you wanted me to just wrap this up. All right, tell me why. Okay, the baby is the cured who owe a bunch of radiation mutations there. 
they're immune to it. So they want to reverse engineer the cure from their blood. Oh, that's awesome. So you take all the slavers and you're like, wrench, 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 wrench. What and if then you only you're... have a pipe and not a wrench? Pipe, 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 <laughs> pipe. <laughs> I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. What's the other? How many DLCs are there? Four. That's one. Is that the important one? No. Are all of them important? One of them you get abducted by aliens. But are they important to the lore of Fallout? The alien? They kind of all are. Okay. Can you wrap them up quickly, though? I can. Okay. Because you did fall out two in ten minutes. So I believe in you. Okay, so... Um, that's Mothership Zeta, right? Okay. The first one was the pit. Mothership yeah. Zeta, you get abducted by aliens. Okay. And you basically kill all the aliens. Okay. And you're like, this is my spaceship now. And then you give the spaceship to a little girl and a samurai from the era of samurai. And you're what? like, just like, just keep the spaceship warm for me because I need to leave. Okay. Because they abducted you and they wanted to probe you, and you were like, <laughs> do you know what I've done on Earth? Oh do you know what I'm gonna do to your grace right. called mother and faceless? <laughs> and then you grab one of their shock sticks and you shove it straight up their ass. Oh my god. And then you take their ray guns and you're like, bow, 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 bow. And then you'll, and they're like, gah, 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 gah. and then you're like, what is this alien goo? Is this food? And you eat it, and you're like, oh god, oh, oh god, it's not food. Oh. oh god, it's not food. Oh god, it heals me, but it tastes awful, and I hate it. Uh, like that. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay, and then, and then, and then we get to point lookout. Mm-hmm. And then this woman is like on a ferry. She's like, "Let's go to this ferry to Ma- Wait, Maryland." Wait, same DLC or is it? No, different point, DLC. Point okay, Lookout. Point Lookout. Okay, okay. And then you go to Maryland yeah. or Baltimore or whatever yeah. marsh swamp fuckland that's near right. DC. I I don't have a map in front of me and I'm that's drunk. That's fine. I don't even well, care. yeah. So you go there and there's a bunch of fucking weird redneck, yeah, like mutants, and you're like, "The hills have eyes, do they?" Huh. And then you you do a trial, and yeah. someone cuts out a piece of your brain, and you're like, the fuck did you just do? And they're like, what? Well, yeah, tribal people. Okay. Cutting out pieces of brains. Okay, and then And what? then you get your brain in a jar, a piece in a jar, and you're like, I don't know how comfortable I feel about this. Okay. Yeah. So is that the end? No, no, they, like, of, like okay. legit, when I say the hills have eyes, like, it's like that. Well, I mean, you get a piece of your brain in a jar. That's oh my god, now I remember the whole plot of Point Lookout. You're basically helping two old spies wage war. One's a brain in a jar and one's a ghoul with a mustache. So, you get a piece of your brain in a jar because of a brain in a jar? No, because of a bunch of fucking hick tribal okay. people who are like, this will make you smarter. And you're like, when does cutting a brain piece out of me make me smarter? And you go to the fairy guy who brought you here and you're like, you literally skimming some off the top and you taking brain bits. Because you see your brain in a jar yeah. in their in their boat, and you're like, yeah. you're a sick fuck. Yeah. And they're like, what are you going to do about it? And you're like, <laughs> I, I stopped yeah. slavery in Pittsburgh. I stopped motherfucking aliens. I stopped the fucking enclave from enslaving the wasteland. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? And he's like, kill me. And he's like, <laughs> you guessed right, fucker. Stab. And so what's the last DLC? Yeah, so wait, you 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 stop the their rivalry. I, I sided with Desmond because the brain in the jar was like, let's enslave humanity, and you're like, no. What did I just say about stopping slavers? So what, what did I just say? What, what the fuck did I stutter? What's the last DLC? Did I stutter about slavery because I'm pretty sure it's not cool and no one should ever engage in it. What's the the last DLC? Okay, the last DLC is the main thing. Uh, broken steel. You wake up two weeks after the events of the the ending. Yeah. And you're like, man, I got you a good nap. You stop You're literally shaking your canvas. You got you, you you get like, man, I'm really I'm really like. I'm really like, good and rested after this thing, and they're like. My daughter's still in a coma, and they're like, your daughter's weak as shit, and then they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, but. Legit, she's weak as fuck. <laughs> wow. And they're like, that's cool. We need you to save us from the Enclave. They're they're regrouping, and they're like, Ew. what? And then you go and you do their thing, yeah. and guess what? What? The Enclave blows up Liberty Prime, and you're like, Aww. 
right? Not the giant robot. Well, his head's still intact, so eventually oh, cool. they rebuild him for oh, Fallout nice. 4. Spoilers. Oh. Yeah, right. Well, you side with those cool. racist I, jackasses. Who doesn't want Liberty Prime in there? Dude, if you're a progressive, you would never side with the bro- Brotherhood of Steel and well, Fallout 4. They got yeah. super bigoted. That's unfortunate. So, so that, that's the last DLC. For Fallout 3, yeah. No, no. So they blow him up, and then they have a giant, like, sand crawler, like in episode 4 of Star Wars okay. with the jaw was. Okay. And you're like, the fuck? And okay. then you just pull out your fat man, and you're like, and you blow that up, and you're like, America saved. The Enclave is nothing anymore. And they're like, I guess we're not. I guess we should just fucking wrap it up. Because, fuck, we lost. They got us. They got us good with that robot and mini nukes. Fuck. We had a Jawa sand crawler and we're done. And that's Fallout 3. Woo! Okay. Let's do Vegas. You're a mailman uh-huh. who gets fucking almost off by Chandler Bing. AKA Matthew okay. Perry. <laughs> okay. How is that important to the. Is it important at all? I mean, I like Chandler and Friends. And. I mean, like, is it important that it's Matthew Perry, or is it no, important? No, like, does it add any lore to the Fallout universe? <laughs> yeah, it totally does. It's, like, one of the most biggest hints of lore. Okay, so, Just going back, the important- you're, you're, the whole premise of Fallout New Vegas is you fuck with the wrong mailman, Chandler Bing. Right, you just explained that. So, you, you're delivering a package, and right. these gang members from, like, 1950s okay. S gang... Or like, I'm you timing just, you, by the way. I'm, the I'm chips just the came thing. in against your favor, and you're like, what did I do? And they're like, okay. fuck you, and shoot you in the head. Okay. And you wake up, a doctor and a robot saved you, and they're like, what the fuck did you do? And then you're like, Sterling Mallory Archer, and you're like, yeah. Rampage! Fucking Chandler Bing, motherfucker! Anyway, so we're on a rampage. You're on a rampage, you're going yeah. through the Mojave, and then yeah. you encounter Caesar's Legion, yeah. right? Okay. Caesar's Legion is... Basically, some asshole named himself Caesar, uh-huh. and he was like, hey, I liked what the Romans did, so we're going to redo that. Of course he did. And okay. they get, like, a bunch of... They, yep. they, they're brutal. Right. And they're trying to um, deal with the New California Republic right. from 2 that's actually expressing, branching out from California yeah. to Vegas. Okay. So this is the new... Wait, did you say the new California Republic? Mm-hmm. So the people from the first th- that were the, made... The, the second, second game, game, yeah. Okay. And, you know, like, they're long dead. Yeah. So, like, their new leader is a, the president. I can't remember his name, but he flies in Bear Force One. Because the mascot for California bear is the Force. new California Republic bear. Which That's is a right. two-headed bear. bear Are there Force two-headed one. bears in Fallout? Yeah. Anyway, so the big thing is Hoover Dam. Caesar is from Caesar Legion, wants Hoover Dam. Benny... The guy who shot you in the face wants to, like, take over New Vegas from Mr. House, who's a.k.a. Mr. Walt Disney, that I mentioned at the beginning of the podcast. You did mention at the beginning of the podcast. And and then there's the New California Republic, who I sided with, who was like, hey, we kind of just want Hoover Dam and New Vegas as part of our, like, our country. Okay. And so, like, you side with whoever you want. Okay. But the main focus is getting revenge. That's so it. yeah, so you okay. go throughout this whole thing, and you're 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 fucking like. Do you get your revenge. Oh yeah, no, okay. like you can get your revenge in a couple of ways. You could just straight up kill him if you're a woman. You could sleep with him and kill him in his sleep, uh, or you could basically like like giving him a you could fuck ending. him up by trade, you know, selling him out. Yeah, and he runs to Caesar's Legion where he gets crucified because they actually crucify people. Wow. Yeah, no, they're like old school. Turns out Caesar has a tumor in his brain, and you could, like, save him and be an asshole. But I'm more like, actually, I'm just going to shoot a missile at your face and kill all of your members. And that totally fucked him up. Okay, so you can kill Caesar's Legion, you can kill yeah. the guy who shot you So eventually head. there's a tipping point with okay. you side again, you get a whole bunch of factions to side with you, okay. right? After so you this, kill this Benny. Giant... It's about who controls New Vegas. So this game's a giant faction war. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no, it's who you choose. Okay. So I chose New California Republic. It, it ends with the Battle of Hoover Dam between the New California Republic or Caesar's Legion. Okay. And, like, if you side with Mr. House, he kind of weakens both sides where he's like, get the fuck out of my state. Yeah. Nice. But I chose New California Republic valiantly defending Hoover Dam for the second time against Caesar's Legion. 
Because she's her legion. Like, they got a bunch of people with guns and baseball bats and football armor. Well, they're, you, like, they're, they, they're they slavers They institute slavery, stuff, yeah. Right? yeah. And they also treat women like shit. They're of like, they do. women are only midwives and birthers. Also, we hate homosexuals. They do. They so hate there's, homosexuals. There's a giant, they are like literally the they're worst. They're a giant globule of trash. And when I found out he had a when he had when I found out he had a tumor and they wanted me to save him, I was like, <laughs> missile launcher. And then I had to fight my way out, and I was like, <laughs> missile Gatling launcher. Gun. Oh, Gatling gun. Okay. And I was like, <laughs> I'm just walking, murdering everybody. Right. Be like, ha 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 ha. Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. So would you say that's the end of New Vegas? You would say, but there are DLCs. Do we care about the DLCs? Actually, yes. Honest Hearts is basically you find the second in command to Caesar's Legion. Yeah. He was actually, for failing the first assault, yeah. he was lit on fire and thrown off Hoover Dam. Wow. Yeah. And he survived, and he was like, fuck Caesar. And he was known as the Burn Man, Joshua Graham. Okay. He was really cool. Okay. Honest Hearts is probably one of the best DLCs. Yeah. Because you get to learn his story. You okay. basically help him protect a bunch of tribal people from being invaded by other tribal, right. more advanced people who want to brutally murder them. Right. Because he has a change of heart. He's like, I got to protect the innocent. And so he like has these two Colt 44s and he's all in bandages and shit. And he's just like, boom, 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 boom. Right. Like rave dancing. All right. That's the second one. Second one is dead money. Okay. A brotherhood of steel, like shithead, kidnaps you and he's like, solve the mystery of this casino. And maybe I'll let you go free. Also, the air is poison, so don't stay out too, there too long. And you're like, right. the fuck? And you do it, and you solve the mystery, and you basically, all the gold is in the vault. And you're like, all the technology's in the vault. He's like, let me in there. And the vault closes and won't reopen. And you're like, I hope you enjoy. Also, I took all the gold and laid it out in front of the vault. Like, I took it out one by one. And then that way, I just walked encumbered with, like, millions of dollars worth of caps and i was just like yep i'm slow i don't care oh my god because i'm greedy boy you are a greedy boy that's dead money you get kidnapped and forced to do all the work for a entitled old person okay is that the last one two more old word blues you get kidnapped by brains in jars that remove your brain your heart and, and your bodily functions and you're like I need those, and they're like, oh, actually, but they kind of... how kinda... do you even reply? Because you got robot parts. So you're a robot. Yeah, and you... they think your fingers are penises. Excuse me? They think your fe- your phoenixes are penises. <laughs> they think you're... You said fingers, <laughs> so it's just... The things on your hands. So they think you have ten penises. They th- they're like, look at him waving his many penises at me. And so I'm they're good. like, you need to stop Dr. Mobius. Time is worth it just for that. You need to stop Dr. Mobius. And you know who Dr. Mobius is voiced by? Voiced by? Who? Are you about to Google it? Like, yeah, Dr. Mobius. Googles. No, I can't remember his real name, but he was He-Man? That's not who I was expecting at all. Cam Clark. He was Leonardo in the original... Leonardo was... The reason, like, and he's yeah. like, listen, they would create really fucked up technology if I didn't make this whole, I am the evil villain. You need to stop Dr. Mobius. Like, even my oh. name is evil. So he's, like, faking them. He's faking them just to keep them out right. of trouble because they're all dumb brains in jars. Right. And one of them is voiced by Dr. Venture. That's amazing. Dr. But, Venture has a voice for that. He sounds okay, like I he, know, was, right? he was made for that role. Anyway, so... So you you do that mm. and you're like what mm. and you don't understand yeah but you eventually get your brain and shit back and yeah. you actually have to convince your brain to, and stuff to go back with you because he's pretty pissy about it I'm sorry they are pretty pissy about it they can't yeah have I, that's they're like reasonable. you let this happen to me you dumb fuck you touched advanced technology and then where am I I'm in a fucking jar yeah. look at your spine your spine's not happy either. And you look at your spine, and it, it doesn't talk at all. Also, in that DLC, there's an angry homicidal toaster. That sounds amazing. Do you get to keep it? Yeah. Yes. It's part of your house. Yes. He really gets antagonistic about buttering toast. And toasting toast. Okay. Okay, so 
you find out that the chip that you, the the, yeah. the 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 package that you were delivering that Benny killed you for. Okay. You were one of several couriers. They made this DLC. Yeah. One of the okay. several, you were one of several couriers. You found this out earlier on. Okay. You were the one to carry this chip that was the key to the missile defense system for New Vegas that make it this impenetrable fortress. Okay. Right? Okay. That's why Benny wanted it to overthrow Mr. House. Right. Turns out, in a previous job that you did, yeah, you caused the destruction of a city with nukes. With a package you delivered. Now, it wasn't your fault, but this guy who worked oh for God. Caesar named Ulysses blames you and you end up with this confrontation with this guy taunting you this whole way and he's holding a flag of the old world and you basically talk him out of launching missiles to destroy the area nearby basically to punish you to basically destroy more basically saying that you're some random people yeah because and you basically you can talk him out or fight him out and i talked him out of like ulysses brah he's like yeah brah i'm like brah I was paid to deliver something. I didn't know it was in the package. And he's like, bro. Don't shoot the messenger. It's still kind of your fault. And he's like, bro, you ever heard of that don't shoot the messenger thing? He's like, bro, I have. Holy shit. And he waves his old world flag and he's like, this is, this is it, right? We're bros now? And he's like, bro. And you hug it out and the missiles, okay. you just kind of like make them blow themselves up in okay. the air. Without like just... fireworks? They become fireworks. Yeah. Okay. And then you have the white hot friendship. Magma yeah. Fest, which is cum. Okay. <laughs> right? That's the white hot magna. <laughs> I, magna. Yes, I guess it is that. Magnum? And that's, and that's how Fallout ends. Well, before 4. Before 4. What did you learn about Fallout? I learned that Fallout is kind of just a large chain of unfortunate events. Lemony Snicket could have wrote it, right? It, yeah, it sounds like a Lemony Snicket book. You know what's really sad? Ron what? Perlman voiced all the Fallout narrators until four, and then they replaced him. Aww. Right? How do you replace Ron Perlman unless it's with Patrick Warburton? Lemony Snicket joke. There's a, a series lot. of unfortunate There's events. There's so much in Fallout that, like, like, oh, go go to this thing, so we need this thing. Oh, that was weird. You know what? Now we need this thing. Like, it's just a large chain of mistakes and unfortunate events that eventually finally leads you to saving the wasteland somehow by some miracle involving a precious dog who in the canon of our hearts never dies. Especially if you get that poopies perk. And that is what I learned about Fallout. Alright, so we're going to end it here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to think of an outro because in hindsight, we didn't think of one. Uh, like, we didn't think... We did an well, intro. Well, what I learned. We I were, yeah. What I yeah. learned. What this I learned. was Drunk Fandom. Thank you guys so much for listening, and uh, we look forward to the next episode, which is going to be Kingdom Hearts. And I'm not going to be drunk. Someone else on the Fierce Fair no, team Gideon is. No, Gideon gets to get explained to now. It's not me. I don't, I'm I don't excited. Know. Shit about Kingdom Hearts. It's so going to be we'll a see. convoluted mess, and I'm really eager. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great one.